Hello, hello. I am just about ready to get started today. So let's chat a little before we hop into PSO. Hopefully everybody's still doing well. Thank you, Boon Soup. Uh, Bean Soup, I could talk today. I see the, the wiggle emo. Welcome, Lantis. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we kind of dug deep into the Yuzo Koshiro soundtrack. Apparently, he did one for the game Hatakayo Hitman Reborn. I'm familiar with the series in like a high level sense, but I've never read it or anything. But apparently, he uh, did a joint soundtrack for this game. That's what we're listening to currently, but. Terrace Pharma. It's not Terrace Pharma. Sorry, sorry, Blue Donna. I realize, chat, that there's actually quests I still have not played, one of which I, uh, I've already heard rumors about, so we're not doing that with low numbers of people. But there's a couple others I'm exploring because I'm looking to put together, even if it's not a, a formal guide, at least a document going through different quests. Yeah, there's, there's one I know is infamous. Like, I, I have heard people complain about Twilight Sanctuary, and I went, I don't know if I've ever actually played that quest, to be honest with you. But what I'm more interested in trying at some point would be uh, probably Lost Spirit Striker. One of the more recent... Well, more recent might be a, a misnomer. One of the semi-recent uh, quests that was added to add a bit more variety to the, the different episodes. I had, I've done Berserk Baton before, but I don't think I've ever done Spirit Striker. And we might try that at some point later today. But in general, I'm just looking to kind of clean up any quests that we may or may not be doing. The other thing that I just wanted to mention before we decide, I'm presuming whoever wants to play, let me know what items you want, but I do want to note that I was playing through Endless Episode 1 somewhat recently, and I was actually shocked at how good that quest is for uh, Swordsman lore. I never counted how many Dell servers there were, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> We should probably do that for Swordsman lore in the future, rather than just run ruins, because personally, I don't like running full ruins quests that much anymore. But it is kind of amusing that all of the cosmetics and some of the boss drops for Pink ID line up with the common enemies in that quest, which I thought was kind of surprising. Nerval Surge is made by the same people that did Scarlet Rome and Twilight, which are interesting, interesting. So yeah, I'm kind of on the fence whether Yellow ID is still the best Endless quest. It looks sort of tied with a couple. But it's interesting that blue, purple, and red get a lot of value there. That was basically what I found out. I think I value pink slightly more shockingly over Viridian for that quest. I was like, huh. They really do get like all the common drops. Kind of crazy. Granted, pink has overall less value than Viridian, but it is what it is. The, the quest is geared towards them, I guess. So anyway, let's put up PSO, see what people want to play. We got to check to see what kind of beat it is as well, since I have no idea what time zone changes, changes where I am. <laughs> am I even beat? Am I odd beat? Who knows? Not a single clue, chat. Yeah. Also, let me slightly lower the music. There we go. It's a little better. Yeah, I saw there were, like, I remember reading it a long time ago. I'm like, 90 ill gills? What, what kind of heinous quest is 90 ill gills? Like, it's just, it's just one of those things you read and you're like, is that a typo? You know, most quests have like 20 tops, maybe 28. And I'm like, no, it says 90. Okay. That must be... That's, that must be some quest. Lady Luck smiles upon humans. We are in even beat territory right now. Hmm. Well, if Chad would like to do some episode 4, I can probably carry with a force. Although, what for... Where I could technically play cast... Well... I'm in that awkward point where I need to get character levels. The wiki page for it did misspell absence, so oh no. 
Yeah, I think my other pink ID here is too weak. Valentine's fine, though. I was going through my head, because I don't want to play full moral into it, because she's my pink ID. I think this is okay. The chat would like to hop in for some pink ID episode 4. Yeah. We'll, we'll play each of them. I just figured while it's even beat, if people wanted a pew pew laser, we might as well do episode 4. That was my thought process. Or if they don't, I don't really care. I just want to leave the option open. Because this character is at least strong enough to survive stuff. There is a shocking number of Gertabulu in this quest, because normally I save up for limiter runs by doing uh, Christmas Fiasco Episode 4. And usually I go Viridian instead of Pink ID. But this quest is all underground, where Pink is probably the strongest ID in general. So there's a ton of chances at some decent items. Granted, they don't quite get Heaven Striker, but they get almost literally everything else. It's like a trade Heaven Striker for like five drops. Kind of worth, I guess. <laughs> right, Chad? Like you trade it for V801, Kunai, Slicer of Fanatic, <laughs> Limiter. I'm like, yeah, unless I roll really high on the Heaven Striker. I think that's a. I think I'm okay with that trade, to be honest. character doesn't have adepts, right? Okay, good. I was like, if this character's been hoarding adepts, I was gonna get so sad. Also, why is he using ultimate frame? This is so sad. I need ad slots. I know I have cloaks. It's not even a question if I have cloaks, but I don't have slots. So sad. Yeah, I don't have any spares in here. Although, let's do this. I could do both. Take the Gafoe merge from here. So if somebody just wants to level, you could probably keep them semi-safe. That's a lot of Rebarda merges. I have to make sure he keeps one of these permanently. Not the Gafoe merge, I don't have enough of those, but the uh, Rebarda. <laughs> I was gonna say, if the quest turns out horrible, I will humor you with the free cookie run. That That is my guarantee. If chat humors me, I will give you a cookie run. How's that chat for the bribery? I think that's a pretty good bribe. Because I'm pink ID anyway. This character was born and raised on the cookies. I think it's time for him to try something other than cookie runs. I mean, in nine hours, he hit 141, so take that as you will, I guess. Thinking which, how many cookies am I up to? 39. Nocturnal says, glad I can finally catch a stream. Welcome, Nocturnal. Hopefully you're doing well today. The name looks familiar. Just going through YouTube comments the other day. But I get those little follow notifications too. Hopefully life is treating you well, Nocturnal. We're just gearing up. We're going to try some episode four. And again, if we don't like the quest, I will give everybody who participated the, a cookie run. <laughs> That's how I view it. So we're gonna try Lost Striker. I don't think it's terrible from what I'm looking at. It looks like pretty standard stuff. The question is more like how they group the enemies together. Was on your gearing up getting better video? Nice, nice. Well, if you'd like to gear up and level, Two forces are pretty much going to hard carry this quest. Although if you have demons or traps, that would be nice. Or if you just want to watch, that's okay too. I'm going to make sure I have some other items though before we get started. Namely a bringer. So there's going to be a lot of Gertabulu at some point. Interesting. I wonder if I could get away without using the Heavenly HP. We'll see, I guess, because I'll need to shoot quickly. Ooh, my accuracy's kind of terrible. Wow, even with double add-up, my accuracy's terrible. Oh, because of my Rappy Mag. That would make sense. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. That accuracy was kind of trash. Checks out. 
Okay, this quest goes all the way to the boss. Pink ID probably has a very lukewarm boss drop. It's it's no Excal Daylight Scar Heaven Striker, that's for sure. But this is a very long quest to do for the boss on purpose. So I'm assuming, unless I hear otherwise, this will be the group heading into it. Two forces should be mostly fine. I'm gonna make sure everything else is set up if it's gonna be two people. Sure, we'll be. Okay, this is just us for now. So at least it's St. Millen and not Scamberdin. I was like, I would not want to do a quest this long just to get to Scamberdin. <laughs> He's like, you want to conjure you? Think again. Get scammed. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, we should be like the Foley stacking everywhere. Got pushed into the poison. That is so rude. But so far, not like huge amounts of enemies. I hope it doesn't turn into a walk fest. Mostly what I'm worried about. It's one of those things where, like, it is spread across many areas, but it really just depends on if they have custom warps or if they respect the player. Find out, I guess. So, like, these numbers are, like, doable for Hunter. Hunter loves it when- oh, what the heck? Why hello- why hello there? I was not expecting a combat here. Well, I guess that answers the question if there's long walks. The answers apparently get slapped in the face by Gordon Detonator. Yeah, Nocturnal, if you have any questions, let me know. We'll be resuming the guide, I think, after the Halloween event. We got a couple parts done of it, at least. But I'd rather just upload it when it's done, in case I have to edit information later. Barely got that rappy. But otherwise, yeah. So far feels pretty standard episode 4. Nothing super crazy. But I also know that there should be... Quite a bit of things here. Unless I'm looking at the wrong quest, which I hope I'm not. We'll double check, because I'll be paranoid about it. But I'll do that after we kill these. Yeah, spawns in most of this quest are generated randomly. Interesting. But the Gurdabulu are set minus one. So no matter what, you at least get the Gurdabulu. There is not a lot of zoo. Like, there's barely any zoos. It's like 60 max compared to like 180 Gorons. So it definitely favors a little more towards your, like, Yashminikov hunts and your Heaven Striker hunts. There's a lot of Marissas. Probably the third highest from what I saw. And that's good, because Pink ID loves Marissa. Say, am I gonna get ambushed again in this hallway? The paranoia ensues. I realize I cannot reach that without a glide divine. I do not currently have on me. That's unfortunate, as we like to say. I'll have to get one of those again on this character. The debuff range actually matters in rooms this big, if the enemies don't start close. Now that they're like this, it doesn't matter. That should be good enough for now. Let's go first unlock here.
Well, stun lock achieved. He's definitely being stun locked. I'm no longer getting slapped repeatedly. Where's the other Goron detonator? I see it spawn, but like I don't see it physically in the room. Oh, there it is in the distance. They were they were blocking each other. Rip Jelen. Just in case there's another wave, I'm gonna put one before we out. Or he'll knock me down before I can hit him with this out. There is another wave. Okay, that should interrupt the bird then. Yeah, I think the problem is more dealing with the Golden Detonator. It's a little tough with just two forces to deal with him. Every other enemy is pretty easy, though. You see, I'm getting slapped repeatedly. I need to get better defense. Let's go ahead and just clear it out while we can. I should kill most of them, fortunately. There we go. Good freeze. It's interesting this quest has a lot of boxes, actually. Since, um... That, so even if there's slightly less enemies, there are actually pretty consistent box, box drops across most IDs. Uh, about half of the IDs, so I forget if it's 4 or 5 have access to 13 from boxes, and everybody is Photon Crystal from boxes. That's not bad. I mean, I saw, like, what, a total of 12-ish boxes so far? Not bad. Otherwise, we'll just continue to use the menu here to get the frame-perfect cast. Goodbye, Zeus. So one thing I definitely want to denote is when I try these quests, and if I think they're good enough, in terms of, like, value, and generally there's some kind of use from some section ID. I want to make sure I'm being a little more diligent, I would say, in adding it to the quest list. I had started it, like, about half a year ago, and then it went on hold for a while, since I wanted to focus on the section ID guide. But now that I'm not working on the section ID guide, guide I just have to go through and speak the parts, etc. I think I want to make sure we capture all of the fun favorite quests. Because I know that's going to be a big question. We, I cover it a little bit in the section ID guide, where I talk about, you know, here's a handful of quests that benefit your specific character ID. Uh, but from the standpoint of casual play versus targeted hunts, I want to make sure that people can take a look to see, you know, generally in an episode, what kind of quests are actually worth running at the end of the day. Even if they're not, like, the number one in the hunt, it's still nice to play things like Endless, for example. Those Marissas are going in. Third Marissas. Oh, I heard Magblast. Damn, if we had a third party member, they would get so buff right now. I'm, I'm also at, like, 80. So this quest definitely seemed like something if I was playing high level force. I would probably use one of my free slots in order to just wield a PB create. Where like right now I technically could just PB create as well. Since the Gertabulu spawns are the only ones that are set. I think it's just to make sure that there's not really a super unfair wave. Then make it a bit more playable. So honestly like the wave count seems kind of manageable. I don't know if I would... Well, I guess maybe I would consider doing Q-Neural into it, where I can get enough of my own buffs. Just a tiny bit of debuff. I don't think I would enjoy fighting Gertabubu with Q-Neural without a really good Slicer Fanatic, but... Like, two enemies on opposite end of the room is like, it screams to me, use your last swan or something like that. Versus just Hugh cast mech gun everything down. getting paranoid. I was like, am I gonna get attacked in this hallway? Hopefully there's like a little less walking in the later parts. If, if this part is like the most walk and then it dies down a little, I think I'd still play the quest again. 
Promethean says I'm most definitely getting attacked in the hallway. Welcome, Promethean. Hope you're doing well. Did you want to hop in, Promethean? We're pretty early in the quest. I don't mind resetting if it means having more ATP, to be honest with you. We're just getting value while trying things. And then I promise if the quest isn't all that fun, we'll do a cookie run. Okay, Promethean's gonna load in. Okay, we'll do a reset. Because we need somebody just basically to take care of Gorn Detonator. Promethean's got that in, in the bag, there's no question. It's like, it's like, yeah, he's gonna bring in Rommar, it's gonna deal with the problem. Don't even need traps, it's fine. Just need more bodies. But, while we're here, we might as well just kill everything. I was trying to determine if this would be, like, a good Heaven Striker run, since there are, like, a decent amount of Pyrogorons. I think there's, like, 120 or so offhand. But it is pretty spread out, so I was thinking maybe Pink ID would be slightly better. And maybe one day I will get Limiter Chat. I want you to know, we're going on, I think, two, two years without seeing one? I'd like to see one at some point for my character. Because I would absolutely just wear it all the time while we're playing other things. I'm going to double check, see if there's, if I want to get any grinders here. So we'll reset for Promethea. So to answer my question from earlier, before I go back to chat, need a quick back bathroom break? No problem. So I think from the standpoint of the different drops in this quest, Pink ID sadly only gets red coat, so that is a little bit of a strike off for Pink ID. So it is Yellow ID, Purple ID, Sky ID, and Viridian. All four of the- hello Maglass. All four of those have 13. But sadly none of those- well I guess Red ID is technically a decent Heaven Striker run. The problem is, is that Green ID boss is just kind of mediocre. So let's take a moment to analyze the numbers again before we proceed. We're gonna reset anyway. There's 21 Gerdabulu, which is a lot. There's potentially 142 Marissas, which is three under... So sorry, it's the fourth most populated enemy in the quest, followed by Satellite Lizard, which is not bad if you want to get Glide Divines for Pink ID. Uh, Pyragoron, there's up to 167, which is a lot of Heaven Striker chances. I don't think it'll be quite on par with some of the other things, but we'll see. I want to try Pink ID, but I could see revisiting this with Red ID. I could see it both ways. I'm going to Ryuk her out of here and get some money. That should give Promethean the time he needs to come back. This quest is definitely going to drain resources, I can already tell. But it won't be so bad with the third character. And we don't need to worry about stunlocking Goron detonators with lightning. They, they just die while we're busy on other things. Okay, so let's slash lobby for now. Yeah, I, I could see a case being made for Red ID, because it does take advantage of boss drops. So getting a Centurion abilities, for example, is not bad. There's just not enough zoos, I think, to really push green ID over the edge, unless you really value that boss drop more than others. So I'm not going to say it's invalid to run it, but when there's literally a chance of over triple of another drop, uh, just means not that you can't run it, it's just not suited for running it. We'll give Promethean a little bit of time. Other than that on the roster for today, chat, I wanted to potentially do some endless, just to try some stuff out. As I said before, I was kind of surprised how strong Pink ID was for endless. We might actually try Pink ID episode one. Th those feel like forbidden words. I feel like that shouldn't be a real hunt. 
Because Pink is notoriously terrible in Episode 1. But, shockingly, it just kind of lines up. I, I did like a triple take. I was like, really? How is this not the worst Swordsman lore run for the quest? Actual madness. Although it was really funny. Sadly, I didn't record it, but I did try the quest out uh, on Pink ID on a different character with Chris off stream. He got a Swordsman lore in the first 10 Dell Savers we fought, and I'm like, well, run's over. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Pink ID did all it needed to do. It's over. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky like that on stream again. I guess if people are looking for cosmetics, Pink ID did gain a lot of value with the Heart of Changes. Because prior to that, they had legit nothing. Like, if we had run that quest a year and a half ago, they'd have, like, two drops. They'd have, like, what? Holy Ray? Swordsman Lore. <laughs> that would be it. <laughs> the only two things I can name offhand. But uh, now they have uh, two additional Heart of Items, so every area has, like, a decent hunt. There we go. Promethean taking care of the problem for the Sorcerers and Forces. <laughs> But like, listen, we don't want to deal with Goron Detonator. Takes too long. So yeah, I could see potentially red ID through here, just because, uh, stronger box drop than green ID. There's not that many views to justify V101 hunts. And the alternate is Disco Brave Man, in which there's a lot of enemies. So honestly, I could see that as, like, the runner-up. I think Pink ID still slightly edges it out. Just because, like, how many how many other quests are you potentially ever going to do for Limiter? Of course, if you don't need them, then, you know, obviously defer to Red ID, but... Kind of nice. Potentially some value in this quest, start to finish. Hoping one of those satellite lizards gives me a uh, Glide Divine. <laughs> I would like to actually just use it on this character. We'll see what happens. There we go. Two different forces keeping Promethean alive. <laughs> They're like, you berserk, we heal. <laughs> so I guess I guess we're just demonstrating that it's slightly random. Yeah, we were in here last time and it was Goron Detonator, for example. It is a little different every time we play. I guess that's always a little bit exciting. Never know what you're going to get. So sorry all the people that want to set up for waves. I know I'm not a big fan of setting up for waves in general. I don't mind some quests, like if I'm gonna run it a hundred times, I guess I'll learn it eventually, but... I never enjoyed the feeling of being like, oh, you didn't know this enemy was on the third spawn, and you need to be in this position in order to juke the lily or something, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I be like, no thanks, chat. That's a z funny enough. So if we do happen to get a uh, Pazuzu, I believe it should be Kunai. Regular Zoo will be V801. I'm absolutely not going to say no to. I would like another one. Cookie update says remote battery. Uh, I think we're at 40. Or, yeah, 40, because I think one character is holding one. So I, I actually got a lot off stream. After, like, not getting any and complaining about it last week, RNG was like, you know what? We gotta even out eventually. If if you're if you're averaging over 1,500 kills every session offline, and we're not giving you one, just have three for no reason. <laughs> it was like T TTF has a lot of enemies, right? Here's two. I was like, oh, that balances out a bit more. But potentially, there's a lot of enemies in the quest. I wasn't quite understanding what the minimum enemy count or maximum enemy count was in this quest, but at least we're, like, decently fighting off these waves. Hope you're doing well, Remote Battery. I probably want that star out of my... I will check the boxes in case there's photon crystals. Area map...
Mmm, Marissa's. Give us more slicers, please. Goodbye, Marissa's. Okay, I mean, like... Listen, I'm always a fan of quests. If I can get away with Gafoe stacking, it makes me so happy. Although, I kind of wish there were, like, one or two more waves in some of the side rooms here. Like, one wave in here, fine. Side room there, like a bazillion, please. Interesting that we were, I think, in this room before, and it ended up being very similar. We just got extra Rappies this time. Instead of two on two, we had two and three. Glad you're doing well, remote battery. Yeah, we're just trying out quests I haven't really played before, just to get a feel for them. You know, which ones feel like walk fests that I don't enjoy? <laughs> War of Limits. And, uh... Which ones are more filled with enemies? So this one's kind of interesting in the sense that... I could almost see me soloing this quest. Definitely is raw moral, no question there. But like honestly, as a hunter, there's not like a ton of enemies, but the but the waves are at least kind of back to back. So I guess the real question is, as we go through this, are there any ways to reset traps without needing to retrap with the escape doll? So for example, if we go like two more rooms and we see a healing circle, that would be like a big plus in terms of recommending the quest. Like, what kind of strats do they need to do? It's kind of like, I could list like almost every tower quest if I wanted to, to say like this is how difficult they are to play, etc. But there's just a lot of quests that are not worth running. Don't worry, chat. I, I will not recommend Mine Offensive based off the last stream to uh, new players. Quest was a little special. Yeah, like a healing circle, not in this room, but the room after this would be huge. Interesting. This got slapped. I'll be able to stand one day. There we go. Yeah, Twilight Sanctuary looks very difficult. I don't think I can ask, ask casual people to clear it. I'm morbidly curious. Oh, there's our first Gurdabulu. Back attack, apparently. How rude. I was expecting that laser gate to go down. They're like, no. Die. <laughs> oh, I just realized I don't have a uh, special setup. That feeling when you go to demons and you miss the 109% proc twice in a row. So sad. I tried, chat. <laughs> 20 hit Magua. Nice. These are the kinds of ways I'm looking for. That, that'll put me into the run a lot more. You feel like a total of 15 to 20 enemies back to back like that? I'm like, yeah, that's what I want to see. More potential Gaboli stacking, please. Run detonator is ultra doomed. Pick up that HP material. Yeah, other than that, I saw that there was another massive attack I don't think I've ever tried. So I'm like, let me try it. Not the episode 4 one, that one was horrible. But, uh, <laughs> it was in episode 2. I was like, hmm. 
I don't mind just staying as pink ID into it. Although, actually, when I looked at it again, maybe I should just go white ID into it. I take it back. Just because there are a lot of uh, Gies and Old Gibbons. And then also Ogil at the end, if you manage to pull clear. Plus, pink ID has, en has enough to run. <laughs> Bring a white ranger or something in there. Add your Gurdabulu. Oh, got the whole soundtrack. Well, give me a second. I guess that was the end of the battle OST. I'm gonna work with Foley's out here as I go to Swift. Next up, I believe, is going back to Atrium. Indeed it is. I believed in chat to keep me safe. <laughs> Full faith. I just didn't even look at the game. I was like, yeah, I'll be fine. Well, there's the healing circle. I did say that. I was like, listen, if we're bringing a cast here, we need ways to restore. More or less perfect timing, honestly. I like that placement there. Because, I mean, you're, you're fighting, like, what? About 15 or 16 waves. So you're going to, on average, use about one freeze trap a wave. And a couple more on problem ones with Goron detonators. That's pretty good pacing. Interesting. I so rarely see this room. It's it's kind of nice just to go to this quest, just to go, oh right, this room type exists. <laughs> I'm so used to doing boss rush, it's like I have no idea what they look like anymore. There we go, there's my demon proc. Finally happened, jump. Finally happened, I say, as I get absolutely wrecked by Goron Detonator. Get out of here. We made his damage against Prometheum, just a minor inconvenience as opposed to actual r real damage. Ooh, Gafoe stack. Oh, time save. Right, chat? Oh, give me one more wave. That would make me really happy. One more wave, thank you. Gotta, gotta get that value out of the Gafoe stack. See, it's, these waves are not, like, overpowered. They feel about right. Which I, I guess is kind of a damning statement toward... I'll let the chat go up. I wanted to see if there's uh, photon crystals here. I'm assuming this is just uh, boxes. Oh, there's a switch. Oh, is it a Gertabulu when I step on this? Oh my god. Well, I found some extra enemies. Why, hello there. Might be a little bit, Chad. We call that the surprise. <laughs> so apparently you can just spawn Marissa's on your face. Hmm. Fortunately, we have Dimates for healing, so I'm not totally hosed. Thank you, Dimates. You crit me, but joke's on you, I have escaped all. Joke's on you. I was just getting my TP back. Calculated chat. <laughs> like, listen, that's fine. Interesting. I don't think I would ever go to this room again, unless I really wanted those Marissas. Should still have two scape dolls, right? Three scape dolls. Yeah, we're good. Anyway, let's proceed. I almost thought that was going to spawn a Gurdabulu, because I remember there's a couple of the massive attacks where you step on the switch, and then bad things happen to you. We're going to go ahead and collect these. We'll eventually catch up to the group. We're just having fun murdering waves over there. Double zoo, nice. Ooh. Oh, there's the boxes. I was about to say, it felt like there should have been boxes, right, chat? I'm gonna read the comment from Noct. Just a moment, one second. Octurnal says, do rank 30 spells have significantly more cast speed compared to level 20 spells? Well, to answer that question, it doesn't have it doesn't have to be level 30. 
So level 30 is the cap. Most people play with around 29. From the standpoint of spells, they do get a lot faster. I forget the exact spell rank, but there is a big difference between, for example, your level 15s and like your level 22s. So Fireball, for example, gets a completely different animation. And generally, the higher you go with the spells, the, not only does it get more distance, like a lot more distance to the point where Rebarda hits like completely not matching where its graphic is, uh, but it can also reduce the cast lag afterwards by quite a lot. So you'll notice, for example, if you go to create a new character and you try to do like a level 5 Rifoe versus a 15 versus like a 25, you will notice the 25 is like two to three times faster depending on uh, your setup, which is kind of silly. Like some of the like some of the spells take forever if they're below rank 10 and they are so slow due to how it scales and it it's always a little confusing because they have like different scales like once it hits x level then it uses a different formula and then yada yada they all have like little nuances so it's not like it's consistent from level 1 to 30. Like for example there's not really a big difference between using level 30 techniques and like 28 for example. Uh, but getting over that threshold from going around, I think it's like 21 or 22, compared to any of the other numbers, is pretty noticeable. Some people will put on a god technique just to optimize damage, which I th think I am not currently. But ultimately, at, at very high level, as long as you have like 29 Gafoe, 29 Ripoe, that's the standard. You don't really get a huge benefit in terms of damage, sadly, at the higher ends. But making sure that your Rebarda looks like this when you cast it is such a time saver. Goodbye, all these enemies. I'm like, if they want to kill me, it's fine. Listen, I have a million escape dolls. I don't care about my health total. Drop the skip doll for the group. I think we're probably 100. Yeah, I've been 100 for a while because I got bullied by those Marissas. Interesting, there's another door choice. Where's that where we came from? Never mind, it's where we came from. Okay, next area. So let's use let's use it in the next area. That way we don't have to do a walk into it. I wasn't sure if we are going to get attacked immediately. I'm going to say... I'm going to say twin. I almost hit the wrong button there. You have no idea, Chad. I, I did like a triple take. The, the twins was on the right side, which is not how I normally set up mags. So I was like, wait a minute. I don't, I don't want to summon stag. That would just be very sad. I will appreciate this defense bonus, even though I don't benefit from the attack. Promethean's basically just going to be doing the equivalency of Charge Arm every shot now. I'm sure he'll be happy. Spread Needle hitting like it's uh, fully geared uh, or fully speared items. More enemies. Probably legit going to get one touch. Oh, Wasp Mess. Ooh, it's one of the quests that has those. That's annoying. Okay. Liking so far the runes. Nice level up. Again, this kind of reminds me of like the... It, it feels like Fair Episode 4. I'm going to absolutely go back for a Trifluid. Yeah, I would say for the most part, once you get past that level 21 threshold, the spell levels matter a little less. I would say the one that probably matters the most would be Rebarda for distance, just because there are times where you need it to hit a certain distance. But for example, against the episode 4 boss, it's good to have as much range as possible. After that, Gafoli is just Gafoli. Nice to have it at a high level. More damage stacks. Hope 
hoping those zoos drop us a nice Theodore one at some point. This thing absolutely blasts. Oh, lone Gerdabulu? What a fool. I landed the demons, it's over. See like a thousand damage on spread needle. Ooh, Mother Guard. Promethean's like, but how many cookies is that? Get rid of these. Oh, I'm going back for that Mother Guard. Uh, I don't need to real. Oops, color. There we go. I went to go drop a material and it was like, no, thou shalt not. The more than one Mother Guard dropped, interesting. I mean, I probably need all of them, to be honest. I am not gonna say no. The dream of just not using Tri-Fluids is real. After this, I'll probably just put some ad slots over. Since Promethean's being very generous, we'll make sure Promethean gets a cookie run. Use cookie, make cookie. <laughs> Although I'll probably host it on green ID for chances of Heaven Striker V101. I was gonna say that I'm so low on cookies, I feel like the answer is gonna be I dropped below 200 the other day. <laughs> I feel like there's a punchline to that. Dr. Turtle says, they start up uh, Fomoral, excuse me, after getting a Romoral in 138. Can't wait till they cast abilities about fear using Tri Fluid every minute. Oh my gosh. Adept is your friend, Nocturtle. Oh, you're below 300? Damn. Poverty line, it's all over. Yeah, Fomoral's a little rough in terms of playing her like a normal cast. I think I described her as like a tank <laughs> several times. A long time ago, I used to treat her as a DPS tank. And not worry about her spell casting. She is fantastic damage with uh, Vivian and Rambling Meg. Can't afford one yet? Well, we can help you out. I was gonna say, Nocturnal, if you wanna hop in some runs, we do have a free slot. I always welcome new players to get at least one cookie run in. We'll always extend that invitation, because the goal is, generally speaking, if we're doing cookie runs, New players get at least one. Speaking of at least one, we're gonna pick up that at least one PD. Oh, I remember this area. And donate two cookies. Nice, nice. So if you're looking for limiter explicitly, if you're donating the cookie, I will give you the option of either going for green ID, which I think is a lot of value, V101, Heaven Striker, etc. Or if you want to try to get a force upgrade, Pink ID gives you things like V801, Kunai, Slicer Fanatic, Limiter, aka the thing I'm using when you upgrade to add up to reduce TP consumption by 25%. aka the dream. <laughs> Once you get that on a force, you're like, oh, I'm free. <laughs> Just... It's not necessarily the most optimal item, but oh. It's what a relief to not have to juggle items. Put me over here, interesting. Don't have the game knowledge. I, it just depends on which one you want to focus. Like, Realm Moral, for example, if you can get access to the Striker unit, Mag, and Heaven Striker is kind of game-changing for them, because that lets you do all of Episode 4 as a Ranger, solo or multiplayer, as long as it's even beat. Zero counts as even, for clarity. But otherwise, if you're just looking for Force items, I mean, Slicer Fanatic is pretty good on both characters. Your Fomoral probably wants the armor known as 13 and a good disc of Brave Man at some point. So you can just fling slicers and laugh at people. Pretty decently geared on Rummoral. Nice, nice. 
Yeah, Heaven Striker is like night and day. If you haven't played with one yet, it's like, oh. Game changer amounts of damage. It's your spinner killer. It's your falls killer. It's your I don't feel like dealing with enemies killer. <laughs> it's the wow, I can't believe I can combo kill everything now killer. Ooh, that's not what I meant to pick up. Pale. Nice, you finished it up. That's a good one. It it definitely pays for itself over time. I mean, e even if you spent like 10 PDs, I guarantee you, you just go to use... It actually, it just depends on what range, what ranger ID you have. But if you have like green ID or red ID, you just, you just need to get it like one or two drops. You're like, oh, I made it back. We're good. Feel weak. It, it is based off of MST. It depends on what the striker stats are. If the striker is all ATP, that would probably be one. When you're doing the pew pew. But sometimes I'll literally have a mine striker unit just so I do the most damage while leveling. And then I have like a max stack striker unit. Um... Uh, purple ID is actually really solid for Ranger. So to tell you, since you're new to the game, I want to explain for anybody that might be listening. Purple ID has one of the best episode 4 hunts in the game. Uh, specifically, Point of Disaster. So as long as you're on a team where you built up your own team, you can join Pod. You have to unlock it from the team shop. That gives you access to Heaven Strikers, Vieta Ones. It is like a super high value quest for you for episode 4. Purple Ranger was one of my starting characters, and I've used her in basically everything. Also, Raw Marl. So I can relate. I know exactly where to go with her. She's also pretty good at uh, soloing tower if you really want to. But that that's for a that's for a. I hope I have demons. We'll come back later. On a moment. Oh, I don't want to embrace the Gurdabulu. No team hugs here. I'm anti-hug. Get out. Get out of here. Like, I'm using something known as the Bringer's Rifle, which you should probably use on your floors if you don't have it at some point. Because it could just instantly reduce mini-boss health and multiplayer by a very wide margin. There's my level up. Rambling May is a huge drop for Fomoral, though. Like, you'll understand why people run her ATP when you get that item. That and Vivian, those are game changers for her. It's the difference between doing, like, 300 of Fireball or just doing 650 with ATP a shot, and you shoot way faster than you Fireball. But, uh, in regards to Raw Moral, Purple ID can get a lot of decent hunts. So, for example, if you want to save some PDs and just want to level up at the same time, uh, there's, I'm gonna say it's New Mop Up Operation 3, where it has a massive amount of XP compared to the other quests, but more importantly, it has a lot of chances of Yashminikov. Yashminikov is like the ranger item to just kind of cheese falls at a long distance. It's still useful for hitting things like Zoo's full screen. But the fact that you can potentially get some super endgame items and purple basically everywhere it'll be good yeah like eventually it if you have like a really good stat at heaven striker it definitely falls off a bit more but in terms of its utility hmm, so solid listen sometimes you just want to kill something full screen and end of statement <laughs> Because the, the big downside to Heaven Striker is if you're out of position, you can't hit the auto-aim shot, and or auto-aim might redirect if there's too many targets between you and the target. So you want to make sure you have something that's a bit more narrow-focused. Or it's not as likely to whip you around, and Vulcans are pretty narrow in their auto-aim at a distance. There we go, there's the demon proc. Like, that demon proc alone, even though I did it kind of late because I missed a couple shots, it still did over 4,000 damage. 
So you'll end up using a lot of support items like Bringer's Rifle, for example, or Slicer Fanatic, both of which are fantastic on force. But yeah, other than that, um... Purple doesn't have the most exciting of value from Episode 1, I will say that. Like, yes, they do get a lot of ch chances at Vice. And Vice is good, but you're not really going to be, like, tr it's not going to give you a lot of trade fodder from those kinds of runs. It's either going to be amazing or not really worth picking up. Where they're Episode 4, there's at least trade fodder, and they're, like, Theodore 1s as well. Those at least go for a set value while you're going for your main hunt of Conjuru Heaven Striker. Exactly. It's like, you're, you're going to be just trying to play the odds that more likely than not, at some point, you'll get hit percentage on them, regardless of difficulty. Well, I can see the exit warp. We're not quite there yet. Is that another healing circle? Wow, look at the generosity of the quest chat. Yeah, this feels more like a fair quest. It's definitely not on the top end, but like I don't hate it either. I think it's fair. It's probably one of the only ways to get the, the Gurdabulus, if nothing else. See, if I'm looking to get value, I mean, I'm just gonna play the reset quest for sure over this. Um, episode two, purple ID is kind of in a weird place. Like, it has really good tower drops from Ilgil, for example. But there's not really an area that really screams to me. I want to play Purple AD for the most part. There's always those kinds of one-offs where it's like, Oh, there's this one enemy that gives me one item. And I'm like, eh. I just like their Episode 4 drops a lot more in general. Both in terms of utility to them and also value. I'm gonna suck some good voice. Yeah, the other thing that definitely helps if you're looking to expand where you're gonna play with the, the raw moral, getting a cannon rouge for her is pretty clutch. The big red bazooka. <laughs> it, it works on pretty much every boss in the game, including episode 4 boss. You're like, oh. I mean, you'd, you'd what? Not use it on Falls, not use it on Oka Flow. Don't use it on Volt Up. Every other boss, it works. A lot of value for one gun. Poor Dragon Bosses to Cannon Rouge gets dumpstered endlessly. Yeah, I've been feeling this is definitely going to be a longer quest. So we're a strap in jab. We're going to be here for like another 20 minutes. But we'll do some cookie quests. So I think what would make sense for Nocturnal, since you're not sure which one you want, we'll probably go with like one pink ID, one green ID with your cookies to keep it pretty split. I'm not sure if you have a V101. That's a pretty good pickup potentially from the cookie run. of these guys. Hello there, wall of enemies. So yeah, this feels more... So, I would say, like, this quest is more appropriately spawned for, like, a hunter. Which is not... There's nothing wrong with that. I could genuinely see myself trying to... Well, up until that zoo spawned. I could genuinely see myself enjoying this as a hunter. Just going through and whacking everything with Jaya. It's where you start mixing zoo plus other enemy types where you're like, mmm, I'd rather be forced. 
When there's a lot of Goron detonators, you're like, oh, hunter time. It's gonna play the deleted enemy game. Best run ever, nice cookie. You can even bait them into the fireballs to an extent. Oh, we got slapped. I was gonna say, we might actually just run it out to the end of even beef. That's kind of crazy. Okay, well, I definitely don't want to be where I just was. <laughs> it's like, surrounded by Marissa's zoo overhead, I'm like, I think I'm just going to keep walking, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to hard pass on that. No, thank you. Definitely want to rip a little more. I notice I don't have regular Foley set up, or else I'd be flinging them. Interesting, it even circles back to the healing circle. See, that's an interesting design. Like, not only do I get it earlier, but I get a healing circle twice in the run. That's actually really good. So shout out to whoever did that, because getting a double access to that healing circle is huge. Because otherwise it just ends up being people like telepipe at the healing circle and just take a telepipe healing circle, come back. But with this, that's needed. Because I felt like it was about right on the first floor. And obviously getting double access is kind of nice. There we go. I did like 5,000 damage there. So I can see Red ID getting a lot of value from boxes here. Next time somebody wants to get 13, maybe we'll just do this run. Because there's like, what, over 50, 60 boxes we've seen so far and rising? We haven't even been in here yet. This does go all the way to potentially Kondryu. It'll be Saint Million or Kondryu. So there's even a little bit of a reward right at the end. That's a lot of boxes we could end up with. Why not Saint Kondi? I mean, maybe we'll be graced by uh, the, the Lord's presence of Kondryu. <laughs> Lord Kondi. Oh, I got lasered. I deserve that. Stun luck with Rebardo is always fun. Don't mind me, just freezing the zoo. the grants checkmate yeah purple will get you value eventually it's just kind of in weird spots for the most part very strong for like beginner rangers for sure because you can self find basically everything although sadly it's hard to do heaven striker by yourself like once you have a heaven striker striker unit it's easy to farm but getting the first one is a little rough with the uh things that are required Out of curiosity, is one of these a healing circle? There's a quest that puts it on the right side. I was just curious if it was here. Nope. Okay. I feel myself gravitating towards the edge. Promethea just dominantly teleporting in, shooting him in the leg. Ulferino. I think that's shifter range out. I mean, if I want to be a support phone new mid, I might as well do it.
Oh, I see. I found the Gerdabulu. I was gonna say, there has to be a lot in the final area. There's like four, then five, and then just potentially ten right at the end. This is gonna be a chance to get a limiter. Come on, give us a limiter. For Promethean, there'd be a lot of cookies. He's hungry. He needs more cookie. Sadly, no limiter so far. Actually, speaking of which, I'm a little surprised by... I'm surprised none of us have seen a Slicer Fanatic yet. Or Glide Divine. Like, at, at minimum, one of them by now. So we have definitely killed quite a few enemies. Nice, good flowy stack. Deep up, deep up. Well, they gave me 100 meter. Oh! There we go. This will make Promethean happy. If I can pick it up. Goodbye, I made material. So the run is slowly paying off. Get out of here, Marissa's. gonna say once we mag blast I might just teleport back to town to go bank these I was about to say is there a Gerdabulu near the boxes this happened in one of the other quests okay there there was eventually gonna be a side Gerdabulu okay, get out of here Gerdabulu oh and it even spawns more items than afterwards interesting Ooh, 100. Nice. Using the twins. So this seems like a very crazy quest to have PP create on as a force at a high level. Potentially two or three mag blasts in the entire run is kind of insane. Compared to the zero of most quests. I'm pretty much immediately going to teleport out and then put these away if I'm able to. That way I have more space. long there. I picked up so many scape. Yeah, there's there's a lot happening. I know the drop rate is up, but like even then, like we're at what scrollable over two hundred items? How many items have dropped so far of value? Over 300. I mean, it's a lot of items. Eternal says, Spread Needle 0 hit, Charge Vulcan 50 hit, Charge Arm 50 hit, Frozen Shooting Girl. Well, you have a hit st Heaven Striker? That's actually pretty huge. That helps a lot with falls. If it has Dark Percentage on it, it's like pretty much perfect. I mean, obviously, the higher hit, the better, but you only need like a little tiny bit to just consistently get other stuff. Striker unit, V101, V501, V801. I was gonna say that is a very well geared raw moral. No dark. I I would not be upset at what you have. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, you got a little bit of everything to kind of clear. The V501's a pretty good it pretty good step up. Oh, there is the glide divine. See, you complain about it, eventually the game has to acquiesce. Oh it works. He's definitely here to farm me some cookies. Damn. The only thing you're really missing on that list is uh, demons. If you're looking to do other runs. As I said before, demons is like really crucial to have on very annoying hunts like anything involving tower. Which purple ID is pretty good at. Or if you were doing... Uh... Nah, I don't think you'd do that. I usually do purple ID for B501 and dress plate. But I think Green ID is technically better.
Cookie event is gonna be really subtle with PD gains for buying items. Nice, nice. Hopefully the uh, recommended items uh, from the guide has helped it a little bit on understanding. Hopefully you feel the power, especially using your first uh, charge Vulcan. Having that 50 hit and basically just hitting all those specials, how much damage that ends up doing to everything. I haven't really done anything in episode two. It's a rough episode. It's one of those ones where like when you have hell, it's not bad. If you're a Hugh cast, it's not bad. When you're like any low level character, it's like suffer, suffer for all eternity and die. Did he sell cookies to someone and that's not me? Uh oh. The truth comes out. Oh, I'm getting bopped. Let's go ahead and use bringers. One bringers. Ah, oh, don't paralyze me, please. There we go. I did 10,000 damage in one shot. That is the power of bringers rifle. I'm doing the first part over and over. Oh yeah. It's funny. I actually make sure when we're gonna go over the quest stuff at some point, even if informally. I did explicitly do, like, go to Rappies, go to Satellite Lizards for the resets. Because I know people do it, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's quite good. Yeah, the ability to basically pew pew laser and stunlock the zoo and also hit through Satellite Lizards is huge. That's why Raw Marl is really, really fun to do in Episode 4. Not necessarily the most optimal in Episode 4 in terms of clears, but still... The ability to do that and also still be good at tower and also still be good at episode one, you're like... I think we'll take that. Another go to Bulu. Spawn limiters. Yeah, funny enough, we'll probably end up playing a little bit of Pink ID at some point. Uh, or potentially White ID Episode 2. Because the intent is that uh, Rambling May is a huge pickup for Felmoral. Like, if you thought you shot fast with Heaven Striker with normal attacks, it is nothing over the speed of Rambling May. The item is, like, genuinely broken, and I'm glad they never fixed it. Makes it look like you're shooting in slow-mo. Interesting, there's a switch. There's a strike to my face. So we'll probably do a little bit of a little bit of pink, a little bit of green. Well based on what you have, you don't need like a super crazy Heaven Striker. But again, Heaven Striker and B101 are value for trades. If nothing else, you'll probably run it there. I was gonna say Nocturnal, have you had a chance or are aware of the fact that we have the uh, section ID guide? The Google Doc has been available for a while, but I haven't uploaded the video. Well, it's still in the process. I haven't lived Moral, just need a break, so figure why not Fomoral. Yeah. <clears throat> You'll end up probably playing a little bit of uh, pink ID hunts if you're trying to get stuff for Fomoral at some point. The white's also good for her. Oh no, a dreaded pit. The Affinity Quick Start God, interesting. Huh, we didn't have to go across the pit? Or is this just for items? Oh, it's just for the items. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. I think the wiki's generally been improving, but... There's still a couple things where I'm like... Mm -hmm. Like, if you look at the guides, for example, I don't know, I don't know, maybe they've updated since I last looked, but I, I don't see them mention, like, 
kind of crucial to know section IDs. So for example, it's like, what is one of the better Phonumen IDs, like outside of green and red? It's blue. But like, I don't usually see them push it too hard. We're talking about how like, Rock Seal is like really, really stupid good at Temple ID and stuff like that. But I don't see those IDs really explained in a way that would make sense to players, if they're even mentioned. Yeah, funny enough, we were talking about uh, value quests, and actually one quest that has a lot of value if you're just looking for general hunts and not anything in particular. Endless Episode 1. I was trying to decide if it had the most value, but I think Red ID slightly edges it out. We'll probably play more Endless in the future. It's one of those quests I'll just keep going back to. Mm -mm 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 -mm. A nice alternative to TTF if you just want a lot of enemies, but don't want to deal with the uh, Troll Digo loops over and over. Back to this room. Huh. I didn't see where the healing circle was, unless it was in that room we just left on one of the sides. Because I feel like we've gone quite a while without seeing one. In fact, I'm gonna go double check real quick. Because that, that was a lot of rooms we just covered without seeing one. So, if I would have done it, I would have put it on this side. I don't see it there. Double check real quick over here. Nope. Nice photon draw. Hmm. It was kind of weird, because I... Oh, it's here? Okay, that makes more sense. But that's still a really long time to go without it. I mean, look how many rooms we did. I, mm, I don't think I like the pace of this one. It, it should have been in the other room, to be honest with you. I've, I'm pretty sure we killed more waves in this one than we did going to the other ones, especially on the previous floor. Promethean at least one cookie. And we'll do two cookies with Nocturnal. And we'll resume our other quests. There's a couple I want to try. There, there's, I think it's Maximum Attack 2 version 2. I played the 3 version 2, which I absolutely loathed, and I did not like that in episode 4 whatsoever, and would never play that again. But I'm curious if the other one's any fun. the OMD. It's the room. You mean? You mean the one that normally leads to pod boss or something? I mean, there's a lot of the rooms. Honestly, I don't play pod a lot. This room doesn't really come up, <laughs> the quest that I run. I don't usually run, yeah. This looks like the pod room. I 
imagine spawning where you're standing. I don't remember what quest starts you in that position. Odd makes you go through the bones. Oh, you just mean the cookie. Oh, that makes more sense. Honestly, I never pay attention. <laughs> when I'm playing Cookie Quest, I don't I don't care. <laughs> I'm just like I don't even notice the bones in the corner. I'm like, listen, my screen is all Gafoey. Brain brain off in that quest. Interesting blue war. Kill the Gerdabulu eventually. You found a Bulu? Nice. Oh, I got so excited because I, I heard a Gerdabulu rare drops down and then it's just Magua. So where was the uh, Gerdabulu? Oh, it was probably through the, the bone room. Gonna go deal with it, I guess. Ouch. Sadly, no limiter. this um, moon atomizers because I would actually like the rest of from my mag. Some characters I don't care. This character I care. He needs it. I can't full heal myself in one shot. Okay. It's... Oh, hello. I was going to say this is an interesting way to get to a new room. 109% you can do it. There we go. Just do like 12,000 damage. Goodbye. Damn, yeah, still no limiter. Rip limiter. I will say the overall XP for this quest, the total XP is very high. If there was a little less walking, it would be completely busted. I mean, 356,000 before we reach the boss. Like, if we, if we did this quest normally, would we potentially hit a million on 200% XP? Just keep in mind, chat, we still haven't reached the boss. So he's going to be adding, like, at least another 80,000 or so. Most likely. Well, now we're definitely at the boss room. If they want to do it like pod style. We'll see though. I was so scared I accidentally. I thought for sure I accidentally uh I blasted. I pressed the button and I was like, wait a minute. Don't you dare let go early. I imagine probably in the next 10 minutes we'll be done with the quest. I don't think we have that many rooms to go, the rate that we're going. We mostly just have to reach the boss at this point. Like we, we probably have like a double or triple Gerdabulu wave left, and then it'll be the end of the run. Speaking of Gerdabulus... Double demons, GG. It's making us walk to the other side, that's a bit rude. That's a lot of Marissa's. Come on, Slicer Fanatic, you could do it. Come on, give us a good Slicer Fanatic, I love it on this character. Although sadly I don't think he has enough ATP to use it, based off what he has. 
one day though. Hearing people getting mag blasts over there. You like me just walking at the zoo? I didn't even try to interrupt it. I'm like, listen, I got places to go. Somebody else will shoot the zoo. All about that positioning. There we go. This, this, this feels like a final room. I can't see if the boss gate's over there. I'm assuming it is. Ooh, that could have been super bad for me. Lighted the demon. I just got a grant. Over. Also, I just like to say it every single time we play this. I am so happy when we do episode four that zoos don't drop stuff out of bounds anymore. Real talk chat. I'm so glad that is not a thing anymore. Rooms like this, and you might, it might as well just call it like the garbage can. <laughs> like it goes in the center. It just gets dunked into some abyss off screen. You're never getting it. Oh, I actually landed demons there in one hit. That's kind of nice. There we go. Spin that up a little. Double Gertabulu. That feels like a good, potentially final wave to have. I am about to get hard bullied. Please send help. Oh no. Oh no. Leave me alone. I would like to not die to multi Bulu. But oh, multi Bulu might have something else to say about it though. Okay, that helps. Okay. One of them's almost dead. One demons. Even with my absolutely atrocious ATA. And now we activate the boss gate. Um. I'm gonna save the mag blast for the boss. So it should be St. Million, although it would be funny if we did get Kondru after coming all this way. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be around 440,000 experience. Let chat activate the boss. No way! <laughs> chat, come on. Can't make this up. Well. Lord Kondria has graced us with his presence. No more scambered in. Get out of here. Well, we could actually get a value drop from this now. I really wish I had Foey. I have to do it this way. Oh wait, scambered in's a different weakness. Shoot, what's scambered in's weakness? Oh, it's ice. Normally it's fire. Wow, I got one shot for real. I escaped though, though. I'm good. Yeah, it might be it might be Mother Guard plus time. Sadly I lost sight of the red spinner because I'm just getting hard bullied. Welcome Dragon, hope you're doing well. Holy, stop looping me, please. The red one's near me, I promise you. I just I just can't do anything. I'm just getting bullied in the corner. There we go. Right, we're gonna try mate so I can actually cast a spell. Finally, there we go. Boss was being stubborn, chat. Speaking of which, let me make sure to switch into my ice staff for later. Uh, I mean, in theory, every time I get knocked down, it should probably rest to me. I guess I could go in the middle chamber. Although I definitely need HP before I do that. Might Dolphin the boss, we'll see. The spinner is right in front of me. So rude. So rude. On, Rappy, I need you to activate. Thank you, Rappy. There we go. I finally got to hit the boss.
I think my Rappy Mag went off again, which is good. I need... Oh, double hit by Spinner. Oh, I might be out of Escape Dolls. Oh no, I came back. Wow, the Spinners are really having it out for me. Holy, I thought it 980 health. That wasn't even low. <laughs> I can survive the... I could survive the laser, but not the missiles. Rip. So ridiculous. Whoever designed it loves the floor. Something like that. I pop one of them. At least it should say in the middle chamber. I'll take that. It, it's gonna say in the middle chamber at least, because it grants. Just means I get to mag blast it when it gets up later. coming. No, no more spinners. See, this just shows I need more defense. Like, a good old Mother Guard Plus would really help me with some defense. True story. Hmm, dare I Dolphin? Am I Dolphin for trolls? Oh, I tried to break the cutscene. I tried. I activated it so early, chat. It's not fair. It made it harder to cutscene break. <laughs> no wiggle hair today. I hit that like a full two seconds before that boss died. So sad. Well, let's see if any of us got Mother Guard Plus. I did not. So you have 44,000 experience, so it would be about 88. Ooh, the boss dropped 10,000 Masetta. Ooh. Well, that's, a, that's a nice amount, actually. On that. I am somehow still money positive, despite that being a very long quest. I'll take that, I guess. But sadly, no Mother Guard Plus. That would have been nice. So what I'll do, I'll host a pink ID. And then we'll have Nocturnal hop in. Enjoy some cookies. He'll share two cookies. Then we'll see where we're at. So I did lose about 10,000 Masetta, but we haven't handed in the quest. I'm going to maintain at least one more game on Pink ID. Give myself one last chance at Limiter. What do you have to say about this? Only 10,000 Masetta, ew. Well, I went basically neutral at least. Let's go set up another game in block two. Nocturnal, if you're ready. Let's do a cookie quest. That forecast is terrible. Just humans. Hundred your answer anniversary would be okay with the side. I think it was 30k with the boost. Yeah, it did get really, really high. Nocturnal a minute or so. Yeah, I managed to actually get some cookies off stream. That's that's good, because I mean I do like three or four episode four quests. Uh room name is Ziggy, password is King. It's on block two. I was like thinking it rotated for some reason. I saw Mop Operation 1. I was like, no. The disappointment is eternal. Been in circles in panic mode. Let's go back to Fire Scepter for maximum spam. I guess I could technically rebuy Trimates, but not really needed.
Yeah, so you'll have to talk to the counter to switch blocks. If you're trying to figure that out. I usually, when I log in, I just immediately Fodra and go to the block two. You know, I have a feeling you're probably on block one if you load it in. Yeah, by default. Oh, there we go. Emblem has joined. There we go. We got there in the end. That's all that matters. Yeah, no worries. We're, we're in the secret area. <laughs> There's usually too many people in Lobby 1. <laughs> Grab the cookies. Sure, sure. They'll probably end up posting most of them, just because uh, I probably have the most ID variety, I would guess. Maybe Promethean has more. I've only seen Promethean with the, the Ramar, though. Could be that you just scrapped everybody. I'm anti-social hide and block too. True. Even when I play off stream, I don't even go to block one. It's very rare I go to block one. I think I've been there twice so far this year. That's it. I got blue, purple, and sky. Nice. Right, so I'm gonna go host the first one. Ready for the bonuses. This is the one I just picked up. Let the Gafoe stacking begin. Here, um, this little help level up the Realm Moral. This is XP is super stupid. Hello, Gertabulu. Go ahead and use demons if we can. Nice. Landed the demons. GG. Back to Gafoe spam. See that? If we have a quest with lower XP per second or lower kills, just play Cookie Quest. It all balances out. It's totally fair. Occasionally pause my spam to occasionally debuff the room, but it will not happen very often. Poor Gorons. Speaking of poor Gorons, goodbye Marissa is actually dead before a jacket to interact with them. And parameter fireball is too strong. I mean, listen, if they just want to keep spamming satellite lizards, they're like, okay. My chat, like, oh. Fun with them. Get a debuff into debuff. Give the team a chance to do some damage here. And go straight back to Kapoe second. Oh, oh, Limerick's almost had a chance, but I was Kapoe stacking. What a shame, chat. They tried, though. Uh-oh. I don't like where I'm going. Stop shooting me with fireball. Come on, demons. There we go. Worth. I mean, when you do 10k damage, you're not gonna complain. Eventually. But my Gafoe stack is eternal. Probably about this enemy. Uh, 
Nice job on hitting 138. Definitely debuff, debuff, debuff time. Ooh, landed the demons. That'll save a ton of time. <laughs> Parameter and I are like, wait a minute. You're a little low on health? Don't grant. Must Gafoey. I'm gonna also do it. I'm close to the leveling, at least. I love we're averaging almost 700 XP a second. It's a little, a little higher than normal. Yeah, we were at 100 XP a second quest a moment ago, but... Like, let's do a little more. Alright, chat, just, just a smidge. Just a little more XP. Level me, so I'm not gonna use fluids. I will keep stacking a Foley. Feels like I got about a tri fluids worth of TP back. Not too bad. I would like eight accuracy up, please. Oh, no ATA? That sucks. So I am like 20 under my cap, and I would definitely appreciate that versus the Gerda Bulus. We're bringing in the big gun. The demons. Go right back to Gafoe stacking once we do a grant. So that way we make it kind of fair. Gotta take a little while to kill. Just a little with another grant. There we go. As long as I stay roughly in the center of the room, the Rappi should just explode fighting us. We're on to try to walk into the, the middle of the room and all the fireballs are waiting for them. Poor things. Just actually explode. Back to Gafoe. Oh, Guardi oh, Guardiana, no hit percentage. Boo. Come on, give me Guardiana. Just drop a casual Guardiana 80 hit. It'll be fine. It won't be worth like millions of PDs. <laughs> Should probably leave the center of the room. I feel like I'm about to get Goron detonated. Damn, Todd. Did you feel it? I felt that wave, chat. I was like, hmm. I feel like we're pretty far in the wave, so now I know it's going to be double Gurdabulu after this. I only remembered the second to last wave and the last wave. Everything else, I don't pay attention. Brain off, John. This need to not be where the Gurdabulus are. Okay. Making some progress. Grants you. Go back to Demon. No limiter, sadly. I will take escape doll. I'm gonna just collect a lot of Masetta and Ore Grinders. Unfortunate. Yeah, we didn't even see like a rare enemy during it either. It's kind of brutal. I think I got everything. Yeah, that's just the baby material. Let's put this item away. Yeah, 
synchro a little more. It sounds like that Guardiana is not really worth much. So I'll switch over to, I think, Green ID for the hunts. That worked well last time. I could play Ranger into it. Like, I don't really want to play Fomar. I'd rather take advantage of the XP. I'll join Promethean in the Pew Pew Bang Bang. Game is up. I can probably get one more cookie. We'll go even with whoever was doing it there. Let me bring one more cookie out. Mm -hmm. I, wanna, I don't want it to seem unfair if I don't offer an equal amount to somebody that's offering to. So I think I'm technically at 39, I think one of them is floating on another character. Unless I put that away, then I am at 38. You'll offer 100? That's a lot. I would like this character to level a bit more. He's really close to being where I wanted to be. He needs like literally two ATA from levels. That's all he needs. Doing uh, nonsense on everything here. Yeah, I'm just gonna be open them from existence. Oh, I left my uh, Excalibur in the bank. Whoops. That's fine. We make do. We can make up for it with our disgustingly good Slicer Fanatic. That's fair. That's fair amounts of damage there, right, Chad? Just near him. Oh, you got PD'd? Oh, that's brutal. Oh. I guess that works. I'm using Yash Medikov. We mentioned it earlier. Get out of here. We're on. I don't want to see you guys go anywhere. If you didn't switch, it would have been limiter. Nope. It's still what a nope does. I believe the Katarouge actually worked. We'll take it though. But it didn't kill range of one fireball. Nice. Halloween cookie acquired. Slightly and finish them off. Close. Bonk. <laughs> Thank you, Yashmanika.
Poor Nerdabulu. <laughs> Actually just got destroyed. And I love Slicer and Fanatic so much, chat. What a broken weapon in episode 4. No way that's the end of the soundtrack, I refuse to believe. of enemies to potentially just slice her all the way through and let Fireball do the rest. Although, getting hit out of my combo there kinda sucks. At least I put them all on kill range. There we go. Single slicer went in. live for a second. <laughs> so fast. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, that was kind of a lackluster drop for everybody. All those rare rates, not even a PD, that's kind of rude. At least we have Nocturnal at 139. Oh, oops, I'm gonna get my money since I did charge arm. Might as well get my cash back. Presumably Nocturnal will cover the rest. There we go. Forward. 
get a little bit more of the Etrian Odyssey 2 one. Go soundtrack wise. Why well, skip the soundtrack by accident? Back to that then. Bad. Turn that up for later. Mm. is now accessible. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm apparently in the Promethean colors. One of my first ever characters. It's gotta dye my hair. Go the rest of the way from there. Slice it down. Is rude. Man, I got PD'd on the zoo. That's that's disrespectful. <laughs> it's like it wasn't even ambiguous. It was the only enemy left and it just PD'd me. That was rude. <laughs> wow, Yashminikov auto-aimed all the way over there. That was crazy. I didn't I didn't even hit the control stick chat. It was like listen. Hunt is on. Thank you, Yash Medikov Auto Aim. Apparently, very good at dealing with Kuran Detonator. Soften them up a little. surprisingly well like maneuvering and actually hitting these enemies with guns I don't care about your mechanics Day I'll get a decent drop. Damn. No hope. <laughs> Oops. The yellow was found him. I like that heavy special special just works on this character. It's like every other character struggle. This character will get it. Instantly dead, GG. Give them that. They tried briefly. You know what? That's not the enemy I wanted to target. That's fine too. Hi. Can the other Grand Detonator please stop hitting me out of my combo? I really appreciate it if it would target anybody else. Thank you. Now I feel like he's just trolling me. Whatever. Not 
Okay. Yeah, I might as well seal people. I'm not doing anything during this portion of the run. They'll occasionally go backwards and hit the guy. There we go. Enemy. I was gonna say, big oop to green ID so far. Holy. Been a big ol' nothing. Those guys in the rain. I just push the charge arm for a little bit. Uh oh, I see celebrations. Nice Halloween cookie. Okay, that makes up for earlier. <laughs> it's like, try again. Let's the new kill range there. Nicely done, team. The next one will actually level this character. Shockingly, I need near max ATA. I'd like to free up one of my slots. So I could go to like V801 or something on my, instead of Heavenly Arms. 246 without it, 249. Just need three more accuracy. And I can actually do a lot more TTF without needing to constantly item swap, which I find annoying. V801 out of Rambar. Yeah, for a uh, vault ops unlock. He's got big ATP. Like casting the Lord Jalen. Sadly not on vault up, but welcome Chris. Hope you're doing well. We'll do a couple more runs and we'll rotate, I think, players if there's other people that are waiting. Hopefully you got more sleep, Chris. I think we'll do at least one more. At least the cookie paid for itself. Not much. Sorry to hear you're not getting more sleep. One day, Chris. One day. I was gonna say, I was mentioning on stream, Chris, we got that uh, super lucky swordsman lore. What was that? It like 10 Del Sabres? Not even? Maybe 15? Ultra lucky. Hmm. You don't even have 
have a cookie. Love how judgmental he is. It gets me every time. I really want this to be ATA. So if I switch mags, for example, now that we're not in even beat, I could take the MST loss in order to get max ATA. This depends on the run. Although it is really funny bringing Heaven Striker mag into uh, Ball's fight, and then you end up QP lasering all the spinners. Got the Gracia. I was gonna say, I recognize this song. This is like, like so many Etrians. Oh. It was refusing to auto aim up there. Fine, I guess. Oh well. the Ramar rest the spam. Oh, that was a cookie. I got excited, chat. Yeah. I'm not even looking for Evan Striker anymore. I'm like, just a oh, cookie. Give us something. Yeah, we tried a quest. It was okay. He uh, lost Spirit Striker. And then we decided, you know what? Cookie. It devolved into cookie. I picked up a cookie. I'm like, it's a sign. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll try the massive attack version 2 with some people. It does go to tower. I can potentially just play force into it, depending on how geared people are. I super don't care about playing Force in Episode 2 at this point. I've been through everything, chat. Nice. Just need two more ATA, but I'm all set. I can have three free slots, more or less. What a good feeling. I think I have many other quests that I haven't at least tried a little bit, or they're just not quests that are actual hunts. Like the Rappies on the Beach, or whatever the quest is called, or like the Valentine's quest. You don't, you don't do those for hunts. <laughs> Things of that nature. targeted by the zoo, not gonna lie. He's like, oh, are you trying to heavy special special? Mm -mm. Leave me alone, please. There we go. I had to make room. I had to drop stuff. Wasn't job. It was very important. Oops, I'm out of position. It's done. My bad. I was looking for the cookie, to be fair. Oh, 
combo, so that got awkward. Thought I'd leave. Wait, wait a minute, I need to be over here. Oh, you're so dead, GG. Actually murdered instantly. They're also over. So yeah, uh, bu 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 bu. there's like maybe a couple quests I want to try. At some point we'll play other quests, but the RBR is kind of whatever. <laughs> Looking for red buff. because they might actually drop cookies. Punish the satellite lizard for thinking it could dare challenge me in a battle of guns. Get out of here. Stupid satellite lizard. You think you have the anti-bullet defense, but I have circle strafe. The superior technology wins. Right, they interrupted that combo like three times. Get out of here. Uh oh. I just used the in. Assuming that's the end of the soundtrack, because it kind of ended awkwardly just then. go to a soundtrack I've never heard of before. Lost Warriors of the Lost Empire. Congrats on hitting 140. If there's anybody out there that wants to hop in, been going at it for quite a while at this point. That was a lot of cookies. I might return to cookies at the end of the stream over at TTF yesterday. But for now, put this away. Air meter's tapping out. Maybe we got a free slot for somebody that wants to hop in. Uh, back up to 39 in the bag. Not bad. Definitely need to make sure I put away that bringer's rifle. I'm just gonna 100% check. Otherwise, I'm gonna be really sad when I go to switch characters. Did I put my bringers back in here when I used it earlier? Good. Okay. So let's switch it up. I'll bring a force in. We'll do some episode two, see how it goes. Don't I need to worry about this quest? Are there any other quests on the agenda we haven't tried? I want to try Endless on different IDs for sure at some point, especially if people are looking for Swordsman lore. Although, honestly, I was also checking. Blue ID Endless is also pretty good. Like, I thought about, like, the bosses, right? Like, you know, you'll get Holy Ray and you'll get, like, Asteron Belt, for example. Like, that, that is known, but I'm actually surprised how many enemies are actually leaning towards things like Jaya in those runs itself. Kind of nice to have some variety. Oops. Short of those I'm going to switch into a white ID force. I recommend you bring in some ATP. I will cover all the buffs and debuffs needed in the quest. Let's see how we feel about the quest. I don't know if it's any good. Just, we're rolling the dice, chat. I have no idea what to expect from these quests. 
I'm like, listen, this is the wacky world of Sega. I have no idea what to expect. Swap characters. I know. I'm like morbidly curious. Like, I'll never do this quest for tickets, but I am curious. Yeah, alternatively, I could bring the raw moral, but I think the force will help as we get later. Early on, the force is not going to be that useful, but later on, having that force option select will be huge. See who wants to hop in. I think that's all Draken earlier. Chris wants to hop in. Uh, Nocturnal, more than welcome to continue. Otherwise, Promethean will be like, where's the cookie? Peace. Uh, there. Sort our stuff out a little bit. Promethean says he can sit out for a bit. Short sure thing. I was gonna say, we might need you, Promethean. Unless Draken's here. We'll give Chris a minute or two to join in. He is waking up. <laughs> He's like, I played PSO, I fell asleep. Or PSO. Oh, you meant like in a run or two. Oh. Oh, no worries, Draken. Hmm. With just two people, then. I was gonna say, you, do, you don't want to go to tower with two people. I'm willing to do many things. That is not one of the things I'm willing to do. So let me think. Based off of what we have here. Do we have a purple ID character? Would it be worth showing off a couple quests until Chris is ready to join? Let's see. Plus, Promethean needs a break. Oh, actually, Promethean's here. Well, I mean, I guess if Promethean's here, then it's whatever. Promethean has doomed himself for the, the choice, as it were. I'm willing to do tower with three people. That I don't care about. Two people, I'm like, mm-mm. <laughs> Pass would be preferred, of course, but... Oh, he already has his own bringers. Oh, that's funny. So many bringers. Okay. So if there's nobody else that wants to hop in, we'll give it a shot. Don't make me log in to do these sus quests. I don't know, it's all up to you. I mean, let's let's talk about what's in it as we wait for people. But it is... Have it loaded loot, loot up somewhere. Maximum attack 2. There's apparently 1,029 possible kills in this quest, which to me sounds absolutely bonkers. The, the base XP for this quest is 572,000. So if this quest goes fast, this is like actually insane. Of oh, Chris is here. <laughs> so it's like... Now this quest legitimately would get hmm, you over a this million. This is getting interesting. Yeah, so I'm not sure how the quest changes based off the number of players. I have no idea. This is going to be insane, though. The principal is waiting for you. Please wait for the other members. Oh, no. Glad to see you all. Test, you're familiar with the test. I'm going to say no. Let me explain. It was a VR. I'd like to test. However, true test limits. That means you save 10,000 points on your own. The purpose is to the enemies to collect 10,000 points. When awaken this new important, I read. We'll give you detail. Take it from here, Irene. Wow, we're, this has like its own cutscene. Look how involved this is. Uh, what is the VR simulator? Um, no. Okay, I'm done. The games begin apparently. Interesting. There's like the ominous warp there. 
I love how it doesn't even let you leave. <laughs> like, the lobby is actually locked. So it should start all the way from the beginning. So is this, like, a time limit quest? Like, what is this? If it's a count-up quest, that's fine. If it's a time request, we're not seeing tower. Spoilers. The tower, tower is not within our purview. So I have no idea what to expect with this, other than apparently insane experience. If we somehow manage to kill everything. Welcome, Nate. Hope you're doing well. Oh, you know, just a 44-minute timer. <laughs> the fact that, that we might actually run out of time on this quest is funny. I mean... Now that is some damage. <laughs> like, think that's actually potentially a quote-unquote tight timer. Just imagine. Holy, the hell needle is real. Cat is deleting enemies right now. so sad. I'd rather use ATP as a force than actually use force techniques. If only it was a full moral. Okay, what the heck is this? Experience doubt, experience suffering. That is my new favorite quote. <laughs> that's, that's not a good sign that the game is telling you. And apparently there's enemies that spawn behind us too. That oh, That is a quote right there, chat. Trouble. Exactly. We'll let chat figure this out. Oh, I can't me get that distance. It's kind of annoying. I'm going to see if I can get spare kills with some demons. That just kind of makes sense to do. I love demons in this room. So I guess there's some backtracking to get 100% kills, which is fair. I mean, like, we should hopefully not have to be forced to do all this. I have no idea which direction chat went. They went, I think, right? Looks accurate so far. Oh boy, chat's splitting up. Uh, I'm just gonna go where blue is, I guess, for now. We'll find Chris eventually. He's, he's the one in need of buffs. Let's go find him. So I guess it's pick a path, choose your own difficulty. There's definitely a weird start to the quest. But I mean, when it says pick a path, pick your own suffering, I mean, what else do you want at that point? So I'm sure there's some ridiculous map to figure out where all these warps take you. I think I remember a long time ago choosing certain routes, like there's the hero route. Okay. Made progress. I'm gonna put- oh, I can't Ryuker. I was gonna say I was gonna do that for Promethean. We'll let Promethean walk around. Oh, I hit this, but this didn't open that. That's kind of annoying. Oh well. Well, we'll make progress eventually. I think once we're out of here, it'll be more straightforward. Wait, this just leads back the way we came. What? Oh, we're, we're in for a fun treat chat. Was there something else I needed to hit? Oh, hello, traps. Was there something else I needed to hit up here? One sec. Yeah, yeah, we eliminated 32. the correct option to go this way? It was. What's this? Forbidden Road. Difficulty 4. Forbidden Land where you cannot turn back. You determine your own path. There we go. Well, we picked Difficulty 4, whatever that means in context of the quest. I suppose we'll find out. So I doubt we will ever get the full clear unless everybody literally splits up and tries to find every path, which is a little bonkers. I don't think we should do that. I think once we are out of the initial area, there's going to be some paths, but not as many choices. I remember trying this a long time ago. I ended up in Spaceship after a little bit. It's a lot of Indie Belros. Okay, that has to be the most unlucky demons I've ever seen. Holy, I missed six demons in a row at 100%. Game, please. Where's my three quarters at? Okay, we found a warp. Where will this take us? Spaceship, okay. Forbidden Road, currently in progress. On me, good. 
I'm not going to be doing any damage here. Yeah, I feel like I played to do, like, lilies. I remember there's, like, it said, like, do this for, like, the temple kills. So I've probably killed all of temple before. This is a lot of wolves. <laughs> they just keep spawning out of nowhere. Okay, there we go. That power material real quick. Over here is probably another warp. Ooh, it's boxes. Man, I want that needle. Mmm. L needle is quite something. Definitely makes episode two easier. Forty cookies, wow. The cookie man taketh and collect. There you go, see? See from at the end, the nickname's sticking. You are the cookie monster. Right, I'm just gonna demons what I can, and if chat's actually doing ATP, maybe it'll help. I'm not accurate enough to get the uh, extremely high EDK and multiplayer here for this. Del Saber. Ooh, get wrecked, Del Saber. We're just going to try to assist with demons so that maybe we'll get some kills. There we go. Intri oh, I see. It's one of these rooms. Journey forth. I'm going to say we're, we're going into unknown territory now. I don't think I've ever gotten this far. I think I just briefly peeked to see where it would take me. Yeah, doubt we'll get a full clear, but one ID at least once we get the seaside should give a lot of value. Temple potentially does. Like, we could get a Disco Brave Man, I think, from Lily and 13 from the Mill Lily. And Rappies also give, I think, Rambling May. Just like decent value doing the beginning of Temple, full clearing it. Sadly, I don't think as much in Spaceship. Although, if we do happen to come across any sorcerers, I think they get current. I think. That's thing by short term memory of how much do I remember the drop table when I look at it at occasion. Where's the couple more to spawn? Honestly, I think I will go pick up that scape doll. I have a feeling I'll need it later. How many do I have? Oh, that's my only one? Okay. I, I don't regret picking that up now. Hello, Barans. You were inevitable. As was the demons once you were frozen. Demon whiffing that- Demon, please! Do I have Smart Link on? I do, and it is just missing that often. That's so sad. A lot of Barans. Ooh. Revive that. We have Pick a Path. Somebody just throw money at me. Just how it spawned in. Okay. I'm assuming I just have to walk near the door. It seems like a lot of the spawns force you to go to the red door. We're just gonna pick this route. That's a lot of pan arms. Just fall over dead immediately as they get help. That works, I guess. Come on. Oh, okay. More pan we found the pan arm room. Mostly this character just needs a level to get a little more ATP. I mean, I at least have more than a faux new world has, but uh, not looking good otherwise. 
<laughs> it's like 12, 24, 48. Experience the pan arms. Okay, I feel like we're near a real warp, yeah. Now we're on alluring flower arrangement. What was this about beauty flowers? Many have fallen for the be Oh, are we about to get bigoted by death flower? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, well. Whoa, this looks bad. I think this does look bad. Well, we found this area, so we want to get the regular Marillas and things like that for Disco Rayman. Old Gibbon also is Disco Rayman. So this is good. This is all Disco Rayman chances right now. Beaked, please. Is my Beaked like super low level? What's going on? No, it's 29. It really should not be whipping that much. Where's my 50 50 chat? I should have a 98% to their 45 EDK. I should be absolutely winning that 50 50. Okay. There you go. Peaceful flower arrangement. No miracles yet. I'm sure we'll see some cameo at some point. Healing circle. Whoa, Sega Quest that actually has healing circles? Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Is it, I really want to make sure you have freeze trap for the miracle ambush at the end of the room? Oh, speak it. What did I just say? What did I just say? Like, get out of here, miracle. <laughs> Don't you appear at the other end of the room. Oh, hello. Come on, demons. Oh no, chat's dying repeatedly. Oh, I got the freeze. I actually hard bullied that miracle. I'm so proud of that, chat. Get out of here, miracle. Anyway, I gotta go find chat and buff him. There we go. Deadly flower arrangement achieved. I mean, this this is usually the murder hellscape. That that I that I totally expect from Sega. Difficulty two, perish. On oh, me, good. I was gonna say you owe me, me, good. After last time. Ah, uh, what a pain. Oh, it said we cleared it. Okay, so what's the name of our next area? Is it going to be tower or seabed? Central control area. Okay. This area is called... Banished from Utopia. It is your fate that you cannot stay in Utopia. You who was expelled from paradise. Discover your path in the hardship. Only the gods can de determine our fate to live or to die. What, what is this quest? Wait a minute, chat. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Well. So I think we skipped some temple paths, but that's fine. Is this the before? I really doubted we were going to fight all a thousand something. So I guess it has to do with the bigger path. Although full clearing this must be insane. Because it potentially you have two groups of two soloing the entire other areas as you clear to make sure you have enough time. Because there's no Ryuker, so you just have to hard commit. And I don't even think we took the only warp out of spaceship either. I'm pretty sure there was one if we went to the other room. Where are the Sinnoh barrels? There they are. Nicely done. Fix. Thanks, camera. I didn't see the uh, the chainsaw when I walked through. Now, now we're getting some classic Segaism. So I'm gonna touch the red door. Okay, some Marillas. Let me do some Megan. Kind of working. 
I'll make sure they stand up so chat can actually target. Kinda worked. Thank you, me good. Well, they're making sure we have more things to kill, apparently. I'm definitely very curious what all the routes are. I'm sure this map is like some heinous teleport maze if you're trying to find a specific enemy group. Because the thing is, is like not only do you have to figure out the teleports, but then you have to remember where the actual hunt you want is behind which teleport. Which I don't think the maps will really tell you. They'll tell you how to get to the warps, but not what's actually the destination. I mean, don't you want to share the, the, the deadly flower arrangement area? Landed demon. I'm doing enough damage I can demons into ATP kills. Not too bad. Hello, chainsaw. Four boxes. Or one on. I almost hit that laser gate. I'm feeling that would be pretty bad. Oh, oh. Well then. Hello, chainsaws. He exploded. Goodbye. every door. They're like, listen, this is the path to, to discovery and suffering. Again, according to the game, Terrell just made this. So he really did just want you to suffer, by the way. I don't think he got over us kind of destroying uh, <laughs> Red Ring Rico over and over in TTF. Yeah, I was going to say, this is his revenge. Like, how dare you farm? Come on, demons. Be nice hell. Interesting. It's always something else. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna zigzag. So, presumably, we're getting really close to Seabed. Hope somebody stepped on a switch. Someone failed the assignment. Okay, is it Seabed? Is it Tower? Seabed Upper? Okay. Chance it's a Heaven Striker, maybe. This is the crossroads to Destiny. There are two ways. You can never go back. Strain your sight and strain your ears. Crossroads to Destiny is here. Listen, I don't think they should let the principal principal be alone with the VR room anymore, Chad. He's doing he's acting kind of weird. <laughs> this is the stuff he produces. I think he needs uh I think he needs some help. Oh speaking of him, needs some help. Get off me, Cinezoa. Wow, I got deleted. Holy I died at full health, chat. What was my defense that I died? 309 wasn't even that terrible. You need to touch grass, I think so. Uh, so we're... Oh no, I'm being ambushed. Send help. Well, I landed demons at least. So if I can debuff him without him teleporting, I can actually do some real damage to him. There we go. That is Ultra Dead Squid. Yeah, that damage is insane. I'm gonna try to debuff him. I have no idea where he is. There we go. Damn, he lasted longer than like some whole rooms. Those teleports are so annoying. So I imagine we're gonna get Morphos at some point. I feel like it's inevitable, Chad. There's two paths. Oh, no. Um, left. I'm gonna go left. I don't know if it matters. I went left, though. Hopefully we didn't split, or else it's GG. Oh, dark room? Oh. What is this? What? 
<laughs> what, what is this? Oh no, what causes the light to grow? I'm like pulsing randomly. Is it just like a random effect or is it like, oh, is it every time I attack? Oh, so I could just act as a light switch. Okay, that's good to know. I found the, I found the force's purpose now, Chad. We we are the light switch. I don't want to shoot the Delta because I don't have frozen shooter. All right, so I'm just gonna shoot the wall and just let Chad do the rest. I believe in you, Chad. This that is certainly a gimmick. Okay, boxes and sea bed are kind of good. Delve eater. Where is, oh no, is the delve eater in the tiny hallway? Please don't let him be in the tiny hallway. Oh no! Penumbral surge! We meet again! No! Uh oh, somebody mag blasted. Rip. Damn. Oh, we could have had super mag blast. Rip. That's unfortunate. Well, you're dead. That was random. <laughs> Just suddenly Delve Eater is like, oh no, when it spawned, I'm like, I don't see it in this room. Not a good sign. So I think we're on track for clearing. I mean, presumably we're going to reach tower. Like, we have like, what, maybe one more sea bed? Oh no. Morphos and Del Depths everywhere. Got it eventually. We're gonna do our best to keep people healed. Well, I mean, our, my goal wasn't to get Heaven Strikers, but I guess technically, if we keep seeing all these random seabed enemies, we could end up with a White ID Heaven Striker, which would be kind of funny. I was expecting some of the segments to be a bit longer, to be honest, but that's fine. We're just seeing a taste of what this place is like. A little sampling. Kaku Kuro says someone drops like one from Del Beater. Uh, it's a pretty common. It's actually easier to get that than the other Psycho One Hunts. It's not easier than Gibbles, but it's still better than uh, Bill Lily. Welcome, Jacko Cougar. Yeah, for some reason, Viridian ID still has that nerf where it's just slightly worse at it than Blue ID for some reason. What? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we're invincible! Oh, thankfully we're invincible. Small miracles. What the heck is this? Terrell! This is a jail! <laughs> this is a jail. What is this? Oh no! I mean, now I have to put this in the recommended quest. <laughs> just no explanation. Just, I'm like, just, you have to experience it once. <laughs> I mean, at least it looks like we're still invincible. So that's fun, at least. That's usually what that sparkle means. I don't seem to be taking damage. So I don't mind this as a gimmick. If they're just going to make me invincible for like 30 seconds, I'm okay with that. So I guess, Chad, if you're wondering what it would look like if PSO was a top-down shooter, this, this your answer has been granted, I guess. Oh, nice freeze. Got a lot of them there. You'll go on a magical journey to get the right kind of quests. Did anybody game lagging? No. It's very goofy, though. Okay, is a reward more seabed or is a tower? Straight to tower. What is this place called? Door to the end. You who opened the door. You can head along the road that leads to the end. Okay, so now we might get some chances with B5s and whatnot. Oh man, this is a... Uh... Oh, we're on a journey. I'm kind of curious what the other paths were. Paths everywhere. I'm just gonna believe. White ID boxes. You never know. It could just randomly be Calibre in here. You trap the boxes? That's so rude. Oh, Dracon was asking what quest. Yeah, it's Maxim Attack 2 version 2. We're, we're in a magical journey. 
deliberation. You cannot pass this deliberation. You do not deserve to know the truth. Are, are, is he okay? Like, Chan, should, he, should we be doing welfare checks on Terrell? Like, honest question. Nice ill kill kill. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna stun them. I'm, I'm gonna move very far up, which is not what I normally like to do. But I'm gonna put a preemptive Gafoe in case nonsense comes towards us. Oh. Oh, you thought you could surprise me, Delveter? I already had I had fireball up. Get out of here. <laughs> right, Chad? I was like, listen. I I'm expecting attacks from all over. Touch of absolute nothing. Absolute nothing lies in a solid touch. Feel out senses repeatedly. <laughs> I I didn't realize PSO was a comedy until now. I misunderstood the entire game. They seriously need to make sure he just never, never makes another VR ever again. Oh, there's an orb thing near Chris. What is the orb? Oh, is this invincibility? Press the confirm button repeatedly? Sure. How, like, how repeatedly? Oh, though, that's a lot of mashing. Sure, though, I guess. Well, anyway, we're now invincible, so the best way to play episode two is to just ignore everything. Walk through things, I don't care. We. I'll just let Promethane lay on the floor. I was stuck in the menu! Worth for a sorrowful parting with all. The allowed time is three minutes. Unless you defeat all the shadows closing on you, disaster will fall upon you. What? I'm gonna say, get over here, Gaigui. Demon do you. Okay, demon him again. So I'm feeling pretty good. I didn't die to Gaigui. And I assisted. I was gonna say, I thought he was gonna charge me. He kinda did. Come on, demons, kick in. No? I'm just, I'm just never gonna land demons? Okay, fine. I didn't need demons anyway. I did the soundtrack end? That's awkward. Uh, close that. Let's listen to Seventh Dragon. Pain and heal. Just seek healing. Just escape from pain. Reckless penance is not rational. I will acknowledge those are words in a sentence, but I don't think I understand. <laughs> I, I think I understand those words individually, but <laughs> I am not sure what he's talking about. Miracles, okay. Rest of the Dark Flacer principle, definitely. Hell yeah, I hard cold I bullied that murder flower. Get out of here, murder flower. I don't need you here. Right, let's rebuff people. I'm sparkling. You are the pretty sparkle. I like the fire falling down randomly, by the way. It does damage. I decided to walk into it to test it. It just progressively gets more uninged. Destroy all enemies within 175. Frustration to eternity, the allowed time was three minutes. Counter value will re return as rest. What? I'm assuming there's some kind of kill time limit, which is fine. Just need to demon him more. Come on, demons. There we go. Alright, so I found out where the ill guilds are in the quest. <laughs> right, chat? We found them. Okay, that should help significantly. I'm remaining increase? Oh. How nice of them, I guess. Back up to above 20 minutes. Only ones who can run this alone, the true rule. 
Seventh floor, very earnest loitering. The one who is earnest will take a detour, and the one who is unserious will go straight. Um, you just want me to go this way. I don't know if that was a riddle or not, but I, I chose not to go straight. <laughs> oh, we, we are in a marvelous world right now, champ. Um, where is my revive? Oh, you mean back there for items? Unless there's something you can actually drop down. At this point, I have no idea what to expect. We're we're in some madman's dungeon. Yeah, let me just I was supposed to the floor. Oh, did my controller sensitivity thing get undone? One second, let me check. Of course it did. See chat, like when I start missing inputs, I swear it's not me. Okay, now it's there. Now we're good. Ah, uh, good enough. The Lord should finish this off. Eighth floor, calm before the storm. Did the calm before the storm is an epsilon? Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna take the PD that just dropped from the box. Well, I guess if Chris needs traps, the game is warning us, we will probably need traps. There's actually a pretty good amount of boxes here, to be honest with you. That's like, what, a 20-something or so? What is happening in this quest? Well, you see. Hope that explained everything. Formidable road to glory. Now proceed, you warrior. When you knock off all the, all the pouring dark, pain, sorrows, bitterness, and rigors, all will feed glory. <laughs> he's definitely, he's off his meds. Listen, chat. <laughs> just, this is what happens when he's just left alone. This happens. I was gonna say, if nothing else, this quest is a trip. Okay, I got my recon box loot. <laughs> it simulates joining a cult. I love how it just ominously always has the Epsilon loaded. It's like, it's coming for you eventually. Speaking of which, build the miracle. Get a revive in there. I can tank the boss, but I can't tank the Del Beater. I need somebody to go fight the Del Beater. Uh, I'm getting bullied by Gaigui. Stop. Dead Gaigui. Alright, uh, I'm Zalord Epsilon. I'm gonna need assistance here. Oh no! What am I getting hit by? Also, why am I the only one fighting Epsilon? What's happening? Rip. Uh, did that eat my escape doll? Damn, it did. That really sucks. Uh, I might regret not having more scape dolls in a moment. Uh, yeah, unfortunately the the Omega Blast of Epsilon will kill you. You just have to avoid Epsilon. Epsilon says no to new players. I have so much resistance that I don't die. Like, it looks like I only have a little more health, but I also have 39 fire resist. So I know it'll do about 900 to me. Well, we found the middle. Remember when I was starting until all people have arrived. How threatening. Oh, there we go. Let's make sure everybody's buff while we're here. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Waiting for other members to arrive. Congratulations, shutting down, teleport to sleep. Wait, that was it? Oh. God, oh, that was quite a battle. I receive a reward from Irene. Static thick, your total point is 333. Four lucky tickets acquired. What a quest. I thought we were gonna be in like the murder central, because that's usually the room where the game just tells you to perish. I wonder how you get 10,000 <laughs> quest gave me cancer, oh no. I wonder how you get more points in the quest. 
Like, how many other paths do you have to take? Yeah, I'll, I'll spare chat going to Twilight Sanctuary. That That's not for new players. <laughs> we'll skip a look at that. <laughs> It'll be like, and this is why I stopped playing PSO. <laughs> that quest allegedly has 90 Ilgils. I can't even fathom what the waves look like. Other than it's, other than quote, it's something, end quote. Interesting. I'm kind of curious as I said before what the other routes are like, but it's definitely one of those quests where we need to make sure somebody has a hell needle or else this quest would just take too long. Demons was very good. I'm happy we brought demons. Yes, we didn't see basically any of... We didn't go to mountain... What We might have gone to mountain, but we didn't go to seaside, jungle north, or jungle east. So we missed out on a lot of kills. Very interesting. Anyway. Let's switch it up a little bit. Hmm. Have we done Twilight Sanctuary before? No. I would only do it if I had, like, Hulkly, Prometheus, and Chris, or Parameter. Characters that are, like, legit 200, then I would consider doing it. Wow, only a thousand Masetta. No worries, Promethean. Hopefully you get some rest. I'm thinking, chat, in terms of what we do next. We'll do a much friendlier quest. I mean, unless chat wants to suffer, then we could go in there. That's, you know... <laughs> Far, far be it for me to deny chat suffering. Um, but I think we could probably do Endless Episode 1. I'm just thinking about what idea I want to try. Purple's not bad. Red I was seeing was also pretty good. Maybe we'll do some of that. Chris needs some time. Sure thing. Yeah, I was talking about this earlier. Let me let me pop this up on screen. Find it eventually. I have so many window captures. Too many. Oh, there's Ender. Leaves in admin. Ender, I guess. See him in the block. But anyway, uh, bu 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 window capture. There we go. I was trying to figure out for endless ID which one would be the best. Because according to this, if you do falls, I think it's red ID. It just has so much value. Because it gets like just get brave man, it gets all sorts of nonsense, red sword. He's in drops pretty much everywhere. Orange ID is kind of interesting, I guess, but it's kind of bad in forest. Name, name my Hugh Neural Ender, and I got it to level 15 before Purdue was an actual person already. Oh, interesting. I was saying before, Pink ID gets things like the Del Saber here, they get the Heart of Ismalia, they even get um, Holy Ray there, which is interesting. I was thinking maybe we'll do some ID stuff there. If there's anything chat wants to hunt in particular, just let me know. I think otherwise, I'm just looking for a massive amount of kills. Maybe something like Endless would work. Who to play as? I technically bring a Force in there. I, I usually prefer Ranger and definitely Cast, but I could probably support. I want to hop in. Yeah, that was like... That was a weird quest. I thought for sure there was going to be a murder room at the control tower. So the fact we only got a third of the kills makes me go, hmm. wonder what we could have done for the other paths. Yeah, even blue ID is actually kind of interesting. Was there somebody looking for Astron Belt? I don't remember. That might have been Murphy. Is that... Because Endless Episode 1 is actually pretty good at getting that. 
while still getting like reasonable drops throughout. So we could probably play for like another hour or so, then we'll do a hard stop in 50TF or something. But we'll see who's around. A host episode one, if nothing else. Let people trickle in. Ryzen and then close the room. But I thought for sure it was gonna be cross formation Lily into center Epsilon. Like they the, the Lily spawn first and then Epsilon's you right in the middle. <laughs> just to make sure there's no safe spot at all in the room. You just die. Interesting. I mean I could red saber melee things to death with this character. I guess I'll put away her other mag because I'm not playing episode four. Uh, so many scape dolls. Yeah, just looking to see what she has real quick while we're waiting. She does have an ignition cloak, she's just not using it. Makes sense. If I'm playing episode one, I'd play Crimson Coat. Okay, so we'll wait a couple minutes. We're not quite at even beat, which is unfortunate. I don't think it'll happen before the end of the stream. But we'll see if anybody wants to hop in, otherwise a break is good. Or actually, if nobody's here, then I could just do a solo run real quick. We need some practice. Yeah, we'll do a solo run when Chris gets back. We'll uh, go back to multiplayer, I guess. I didn't see anybody in the lobby when I went in and nobody was joining. Let's roll the mouse. I need to go grab my ex cal though. I don't feel like be able wanting to be honest with this character. It's definitely very easy in single player. It goes so slow. Just don't feel like it. Eventually, he'll probably wield a Galatine with a little bit of machine percentage. I have a Galatine when I'm doing other things, but... Fine. Again, I really wish I could get rid of this Heavenly Arm. I just need him to get more experience. What else I need? Not really. Be good. Anyway, let's actually start the quest. Rewarded immediately for single player chat. Look at that. What do we even do with this? Get rid of evade, maybe? I feel like fighting the hill delts. I mean, I could go fight them if I need to. Oh, do I actually need to clear them? I can't say I've bothered to notice. I thought it was just a timer-based thing. Interesting. Oh well. That's fun. Another cookie. Yeah, pretty much. I got distracted by cookie. I guess I'll clear it for real then. 
Yeah, I think I just forgot. I, I don't normally do it, so I was like, oh, I'm used to being in the other room, and then I remembered other people trip it. That's fine, I might as well just clear then. Yeah, so he'll probably be there now, but it doesn't really matter. I can still hit the dragon, we're fine. Although, if he keeps hitting the tail, we can move forward. Do it with you, Mark. Nice. I was gonna say, Bazooka Shop, please. Uh, like right here. Oh, there's the Del Beater Psycho Wand. Damn, I was so close. How is that not on the warp chat? I got cheated. Can we all agree? I definitely got cheated. That told me I could warp. I couldn't warp. Just actually unlucky, chat. One day I will actually be on the right spot for it. I mostly know where it is, but I'm off by like the most fractional of fractional steps. So sad. Oh well. Such is life, I guess. feel like doing slime dupe stuff if i was playing Hugh seal solo i would go do slime dupe rather than continue the quest but right now i don't care it's just green id Kill this room. There are more enemies. I got time. Like one shot too early. Oh. Okay. Don't mind me, just just milking some extra kills while playing TTF, even in solo. <laughs> I'm like, I could kill 3-3-3, three, 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 which is 9 enemies, or I could kill 5-5, five, five, which is 10 enemies, and therefore more, and then still get extra kills while I'm waiting. No invincibility, seriously. Oh, this could be bad. Get out of here. Why are there so many banners? Asked Tiggy. Welcome, Tiggy. Tiggy, you missed the quest. I think chat can agree it was unforgettable. Is that Holy Ray with hit? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, don't don't mind me just dropping some time on the quest. Let's go pick that up casually. Do, 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 do. The quest of all time. It was good. Um, thanks, Yashminikov. Rip my materials. I don't really need them. Oh, I should probably use that, uh, our atomizer. Oh, that would explain why it didn't work. I think it was garbage. Oh, turned too sharply. And that was player error. Anyway, back over here. Let's go fix some synchro. Rambling may easy to find. Pretty easy. It just takes some time just due to the fact that Temple could be annoying at points. How many Ubers did we get? Uh, none. 
but Tiki, you you missed. You know you're in for a good time when the quest tells that you're here on the path to discovery and suffering. I think was the quote. I'm like, huh? Okay, that's interesting way to have your quest start. This is fanfic writing. It really was. It was something else, Tiggy. We were we were reading the delusional rantings of a madman. I like the beautiful death flower path the most. Yeah, I could zap zap here with Excalibur. I just don't want to. Terrell's unchecked ego, pretty accurate. I think I shot one too many times. I don't think this is gonna kill him. Oh no! Never mind. Disregard. Yeah, you can take it so slow in single player. It's so funny. Let's see. Is he gonna meet? Oh, he didn't immediately uh, cage me. That's good. Have to play the game briefly. Oh, you thought I wasn't going to shoot you in slow-mo? Mm-mm. Get out of here. Oh, that, that Razan was sad. <laughs> I'm used to doing that as Raw Marl, and I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> wait, I'm a, I'm a Raw Marl. That lightning is not going anywhere. Mm hmm. Yes, I can have a striker this. Oh, I was one shot shy. I should have believed. Um, I don't think the single. I don't think the multiplayer strats matter here. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna juke him real quick. Hopefully you're doing well, Tiggy. You want to do some TTF for a solo chat after this? We're just kind of winding down. Yeah, I lost some time picking up, like, two items because I wasn't actually expecting to get anything. So sad. I'm going to be there at, like, 9 minutes 30 seconds instead of, like, 9 minutes. Whatever. Um... I don't think I need to buff yet. I'm actually just going to burn like that. in mind that I'm gonna land all my sacrifice shots on the first form. That's what I'm thinking about. I have... I don't think this is the character with a hit Heaven Striker. I got some time. side. Probably could have taken a couple more steps to be safer. You can see like I'm not going to be lined up with the center mouth at all, but I'm lined up with the one in front of me. Alright, we're, we're landing our sacrifices today. We're good. Get out of here, boss. Okay, let's see. Miracle, good pattern, good pattern. Over the trimate. Out of here. Rommar is so fun to fight balls with, Chad. I'm not gonna lie. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a combo. Hopefully I land it. 
I healed a little early there, which is my fault. I'm gonna hover Yashminikov, otherwise I want to use Berserk Shots. Oh, come on. Two misses. That's so bad. So sad, chat. Two misses. Could have had that. Oh, contributing to the cult totem. I gotta turn that off. be able to get it to cycle if I heal. Oh, I ran out of TP. That's awkward. That's fine. Yeah, let me turn that off before we're gonna use it, because I don't want to see the notification while I play. I'm not distracting. Off. Off. So yeah, I mean, I got a Holy Ray with hit. I think, is that the first one I've ever gotten with hit? Maybe. Question mark? Yeah, we're talking about, like, average times on TTF, so I'm like... I probably could have had it closer to 12 minutes. As I said before, I had to do some really awkward venueing, so I tried to figure out what to drop. And I also healed two times where I did not need to heal. So that was kind of a... Uh, they had choice of menus. I did have a good middle phase with balls. I only had like one spell into the boss holding still. For vault up to save like three seconds, on the final room, I should have cast Gufoe before I did the Resond. Like Gufoe on one side of the room and then Resond in the middle. And then obviously using the Zap Strat is also faster than Spread Needles. There's a lot of ways I can save time. You know what? I'm happy. We still got extra kills. And we also just picked up randomly Halloween Cookie during the run. Yeah, 25 hit, holy hit. Not bad. So I'm thinking if chat would like, I could host some Red ID. Since Red ID is my preferred ID into uh, TTF. I actually like it more than Viridian at this point, especially during special events. The reason being is that when you do the extra kills, almost every enemy is worth it. The slimes are worth duping, the Arlins and Ruins are worth killing, the Gilchicks are worth killing. So if you're just trying to get extra cookie chances anyway, then you might as well just make them real. Oh my gosh, game please. I'm just gonna bring Huka Seal in. I don't feel like playing uh, Force again. Yeah, that looks good. I love that he can't use it because he's too dumb. Poor Ramar. So close, Chad. If only he had 15 more MST. Just out of curiosity, for that Holy Ray, compared to, like, the laser, 369 versus... Okay, where is Holy Ray? 364? I mean, it's on par with the laser? I mean, that's... Yeah, because my other... So, C's Ray Gun with 60 hit is 364. So, it's actually on par. This Holy Ray's on par with my C's slash Arrest Ray Gun. That's 60% hit, not even 50%. So it's actually a good Holy Ray. I finally have a Holy Ray worth using, Chad. <laughs> it, it, is, it is above the curve. I would like to actually be able to use that at some point. Yeah. Also, I forgot to put away my items because I'm like, tuned down. But yeah, we'll do a couple TTFs. With uh, monster kills, of course. Mm -hmm. The Hudor will be happy. Yeah, that's true. To double check, what is the special on it? Is it C's or Arrest? 
it is a rest. Well, that's actually pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, give me my S rank. A rank? Oh, I didn't kill enough enemies. My bad. I'll try again. I'll try harder next time. I did kill a lot that I didn't need to kill, to be fair. It wasn't just min kills. But anyway, time to bring in Hugh Seal. See, I'll be clearing the entirety of the first room. If we're playing four people, I recommend somebody just help me with the first wave of the first room. And then two people can just move onwards. I mostly just want debuffs, but if you could kill the wave too, that helps. Oh, I only see Chris in the lobby, but hey, I don't mind doing two-man TTF. Like, listen, we're at the point, I'm comfortable with the character. Do whatever you want. I like this... I love my Hukasil wearing out of just because I'm specifically doing so much TTF that I'm like, you know what? I want the resistance. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm like, wait a minute. I, you know what? Just give me an extra six resist. Why not? Eventually, I won't need that accuracy. How much do I have currently? 214. 218. Jacko Cougar says, can I join? Sure. I mean, we have tons of free slots. I think between Chris and I, we can carry. If Tiggy joins, Tiggy will hard carry. But otherwise, we're just gonna do some normal things. Oh, there's a hold ray gun. I was gonna say, wow, is there another arrest in the shop? Yeah. It'll be interesting, because potentially that holy ray with raw moral, it's on par with my other super snipers. But more importantly, it's a rest. So it might still be worth giving to a hunter just because they don't have access to snipers in general. So the fact that it's competing with my ray gun has more range. Probably a lot more ATP than a handgun. Kinda nice. Hello, Fry is here. Otherwise, we'll get started in just a moment. Give me a few minutes to log in. No problem, Tiki. He's gonna say Tiki's like, I need the red rings. That's not fair. Everybody's getting cycle one. Where's my cycle one red ring lava's cannon? Ooh, so we have four, we have full buffs. So that's good. Yeah, it is nice to be able to debuff worm balls. If you debuff falls, that's also great. So if you've got Glide Divine, that helps. If not, it's not the end of the world. I think I mentioned before, but I haven't played Force that much on stream. I've been finding a really fun way to deal with falls, and it involves face tanking. So it's not something low level forces can do. But it's something high-level forces can do when they just no longer care. I'm assuming Draco is Willow Fry? Question? I don't remember who Willow Fry is, to be honest. I don't have that association between Twitch name and character, other than Bulletina, because I see Bulletina like every other day. <laughs> like that—that that person I know. <laughs> nice. There you go, Tiggy. Spot is still free. I was going to say, 180 is a pretty reasonable level. Almost have 1400 health, which is the magic number to survive Pulse's BS double hit. <laughs> and you're like, yep, you're home free. But anyway, the strategy I was talking about before, so when I'm, especially when I'm playing with less than four people, which has come up and Chris can testify, I have been basically just wielding Glide Divine, equipping three seals, and optionally an adept for more resist and also accuracy on my weapons if I need to damage with weapons. Um, but essentially I just face tank all of the spells that Falls does. And with the combination of three seals and glide divine out, you're going to have at minimum like 45 resist like before armor. So even if you don't have ignition cloak, it's kind of silly. 
So I just found that you just never die. So I just spam Gafoey while standing near a player to make up for the fact that they're gonna get hit. And then when the spinners come up, I just spam Resta afterwards. And then I go right back to Gafoey spam. It works pretty well. But again, you have to be at a you have to be really comfortable with your resist. I was wearing Mother Garb on it. Oh, good luck and good night. Thank you, Infermeter. I was doing uh, Mother Garb on it, so my light resist was so high that Falls was barely doing like 100 damage. Alright, chat's helping me first room. Thank you, John. Right, so as long as somebody advances the room, we need somebody to advance at some point. There we go. We're almost at the Tallow Wave. Kill a couple of these. Yeah, I can clean it up. When it's down to this, I'm like, I got it. We're good. There we go. I might save for the Bartle that appears here. Just because it is another chance at uh, a good rare. But sadly, no good rare there. Anyway, we're roughly on time since most of the chat was here. Got a little bit of a head start in this room. Caves, I'm gonna go for slime dupes. So, unless I'm forced to, I will not really participate on the room clear. I would recommend that if you're the last one in the lily room other than me, when you go into the second room, that is, where it's like the, the five boomas, one lily, you kill those, and then lilies appear, you just full clear that room, and that includes the nano dragon. You squeeze every drop of kill you can, chat. I believe in you. <laughs> We're, we don't care about the nano dragon drops. We care about cookies. And plus, you're waiting anyway, so if you're somebody that just takes the warp to go to the front door anyway, you, you might as well just get the kills during Halloween event. I don't recommend that as much in, like, casual play, but man oh man with the others. Oh, Tiki kills. Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, I hope I corrected it. I saw my movement go weird when the camera jerked. It might have made me over too far over too far. I was worried about. I'm first in the room, which kind of sucks. I guess I will skip. I'll come back for the, the slime. Because I want to make sure the, the chat is always moving forward. We're going to go for slimes. Fire trap. Three... So I'm gonna basically dupe the slime and kill the slime. Go down a freeze trap, get a nice disco going. A little close. That's fine. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're now gonna just walk through. Team's clearing this one. Excellent. Already a nano dragon. That means I'm a little behind, so I gotta keep moving. As long as chat kills the middle one, we're good. Just shoot through that guy. Put a happy little freeze trap down. I'm a little slow here, so apology. Oh, I got the chat. Right. Chat can come in the room now, that's good. I, I, I do the slimes, so sadly no rare slimes. I'll kill some as they come towards me. Got it. Tiki bomb in the corners. Oh, one of them didn't get duped. Interesting. So anyway, let's go set up a telepipe for Chris. I've determined it's Jaya o'clock. Right, chat? Hold on. Gotta gotta deal with the worm boss real quick. Yo. Before one, two, three. One, two, three. One, and dead. Man, that goes fast when you have a huge cast with Zalore. <laughs> it's like, good. I didn't have to spend 30,000. Could have spent more, I guess. That worked. Some money here. Alright, so the trick here, I'm gonna confuse trap. 
Uh, if the force could stay with me, I need help Zaloring the group. And I'm gonna be confusing the group. Everybody else can move onwards, I think. I just need to play cleanup here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, there we go. So just be careful. I'm gonna put a confuse trap down to make them fight each other. We're just gonna walk away a little teeny bit. There we go. Good to lore. Good to lore. Perfect. They punch each other. It speeds it up. So these also have drops that we care about, surprisingly. I'm going to freeze this group since I think our damage was actually pretty good. That is not how I wanted to aim that, but that's fine. Alright, so they're just summoning the Sinnohs, so let's get moving. Uh, oops, Tiggy Dud. I'm going to show you a magical little trick. What I would recommend is you go immediately for the exit. I'm going to show you something stupid. Only the cast can do this. This will be our secret tech. Feel free to do it whenever you play, but I'm going to show you how to kill every one of those Sinnoh Blue without firing a shot. I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to stand in the middle of the room. Ooh, they were kind of in a free spawn position. That's fun. So we just do a little circle, and they're dead. Wasn't that easy? It's got like a million kills. The best part is since we're killing all the guild chicks anyway for item checks, we're not really even that late here. I just killed three Sinnoh Blue without ever sh shooting my gun. So dumb. So basically the strategy is you confuse trap right in the middle between all of them, and then you just walk in a circle around the room. Doesn't matter if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. Then you clean up. The Sinnohs retarget the most out of every enemy in the game, honestly, to the point where every single attack, they're immediately going to stop and look for a new target. But because their attack animation is so long, you just walk away from them between swings, and like 80 to 90% of the time, they're just immediately going to leave you. Unlike other enemies that seem to just hunt you endlessly. And that's just due to how long their attack animation is. gonna swing my twin blaze. Uh oh, it's hit me. Go to the next monitor. Let chat deal with that one. Oh, hold on. Oh, that that's what happened. Okay. I just realized the force wasn't holding an ATP weapon. I'm like, wow, that was taking a while. Yeah, unfortunately it checks for ATP, so I was like, Fly Divine's a bit low. If you have Cleo, Cleo's actually pretty good as a backup if you don't have anything too crazy. I got hit at a disco break, man. I'm so sad. Here are these. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I need, uh... I need assistance killing the Claws. I can stay behind once it's down to the Arlens. The team can basically full clear every room. The Force will, is very good at killing Claws, so I'm gonna let them resound if they can. Otherwise, it's just kind of murder central. Like, I got frozen in a weird way. Let's freeze here. I'm gonna put another freeze trap here. Be pretty safe like this. Oh, I didn't freeze the other one. That sucks. Thought I did. Must have just been slightly off. Where it triggered early. One of the above. The Arlins are Disco Brave Man for clarity. We're just doing Disco checks. Team can kill basically literally everything. I'm gonna leave it to the Force to kill the Claws once we're done with these Arlins. I'm gonna clear a path for the people that want to escape. I'm gonna let the force take care of this. Go to the next room.
<laughs> I was gonna say, this room is built for the force. So every one of those claws is a Halloween cookie check. Would I do that in a normal run? No. Is it a special event? Yes. So it doesn't matter. Uh, let's kill all the way to the to the uh, Darkbringer. Maybe we'll get a spread needle. So there's going to be two on the left-hand side of the room and one on the right. Looks like there is a setup going here. I'm going to go ahead and try to stunlock the other one. I froze two. I'm going to consider that a win. Good enough. Sadly, no spread needle. Quick spread needle. There we go. Is that a monolith? Did the music pause. He tributes the totem, something like that. <laughs> I saw the random resto. Tiggy. Tiggy. Embrace death. Super effective. Well, speaking of super effective, holy, did that do. Did it double hit me there? That was nasty. Look at that chat. That was one strike, but it like. It, it just like double bought me real quick. Holy, where's my iframes? You know what, this is for Tiggy. An honor of Tiggy. I'm gear soling. I was gonna say, there you go. Truly deranged behavior. <laughs> just hold on. I'm too healthy for Spinner. Let me just drain my HP real quick so I can Dark Flow. Might as well as use it. I'm here. Let's switch to the last one so I can get pot shots on the other one. Okay, so the strategy is either make sure you never line up with the teammate, or just prepare to heal spam them and have somebody tank with Gafoe. Alright, so no matter what, bad things are gonna happen here. I'm gonna dodge. Hopefully it stays still? Okay, it is. We're just gonna go for a debuff here then. So with Glide Divine, Zalora should hit without needing to move, which is huge. So when we come into the next fight, we'll get a pretty big damage bonus. Even with stream delay, hopefully that's soon enough to tell. Okay, let's go. One, two, perfect. Job well done. Look at that boss health bar. If you come out of invincibility, you are dead. <laughs> Actually gone. That is the power of Zalor with a Hugh cast. That is some damage. Ha, dead already? Goodbye, Falls. It and we've seen it before. If you don't do that, it's literally like a difference of five thousand. So you can think of it this way: Zalor is like doing five k to the boss, and it only is twenty k. So stupid. Does so much damage. Ah, uh, sadly no red ring. But hey, you know what the plus sign is? Because we got so many kills, go get your scape doll, chat. You you earn the scape doll. I need to restock, so I'm gonna do the long walk. Mm -hmm. S red blade away for now. Not playing single player right now. Um Kind of use the other items. I, I use Vice when I'm being more serious. I need to buy telepipes, so it's getting pretty low. Healing items, I'm actually fine. I just, I don't technically have to go back to restock those. Some star atomizers, actually. No worries. Rip my money. I still have enough to use Jaya, so we're fine. 
me that delicious S rank. Oh, I knew it was S rank. Don't even try to deny me, Terrell. I know your secrets now. You just want me to kill more. Okay, offset some of the money loss. We'll do like two more. Rayman and Jaya have the same ATA. And my vice is also almost the same ATA. That's actually kind of funny that everything is within one point of my primaries. Except for Dark Flow. Dark Flow is super high. We'll give Chris a couple minutes. In the meantime, I'll just fall over dead. In the meantime, I'm sorry, there's how many songs in this? Are you telling me there's a Nintendo DS soundtrack with 77 songs? What? Dad, do you realize how many that is? <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. They're not short songs either. They're on average at least two minutes or more. Crazy. Well, we're gonna be on the soundtrack for a while, John. Needless to say. So yeah, we basically triple the number of kills that we normally get in TTF in exchange for like 28 ish Disco Rayman chances and a couple of hard ups. And by a couple, I mean like 16 or so. It's not bad. Oh, just get Brayman dropping and not with a good hit percentage. That is such a shame. Nice, so many people clear in the next room. a shame, Chad. It actually, it rolled okay. It even rolled machine percentage, but it's just not good enough. Now, arguably, if the other team gets really far ahead, technically what I should do is take a telepipe to them. But I don't feel like doing it, so I'm gonna walk. <laughs> I'll acknowledge that, that I could do that. I'm just not going to. So if we were all in voice chat, guaranteed, I'd just be like, telepipe me. I don't feel like walking. <laughs> I'll walk in 10 seconds. I'll take a 5 second telefight for a 10 second walk. So if you're looking how to how to make the run more efficient, that was one of the moments. Where you can look by the monster reader at how the other team is doing, even if they don't communicate. My dad. Oh, I didn't die. That's a miracle. Uh, this time I'll be responsible with Tiggy. I love that the Dark Blow Slash actually builds Photon Blast. Nice. I'm gonna run for it. I'm gonna run for it. Okay, yeah, that's good enough. We'll find out though. Ooh, overshot. Mr. Slime, I want you so bad. Slime. I think I can still make it work though. One here. Here. Brave man here. Beautiful. Nice Halloween cookie. Good pickup. Rewarded for the slime dupe. A great drop for slime duping. Excellent freeze trap.
I'm gonna kill the middle lily, and then I'm gonna freeze the rest and run. Life easier here. One, two, three, slime duping time. Team basically was on Nano Dragon, so they should be able to help clean up that other wave pretty easy. Oh, that was such a clean kill. Ooh, that was efficient. Look at that, chat. I'm at the door. Even put a telepipe down. Beautiful. I probably just bring out my Excalibur when I'm playing multiplayer. I don't need Jaya multiplayer. Save me some cash in the long run. Did you seriously not give me invincibility? Mag, please. Give me heal, whatever. Fine, I'll take it in the face. You happy game? Yeah, my trick. If you hold down and right here, you'll end up closer to the items or at the warp depending on where you're standing. So during this cutscene, I tend to stack Gafoli when I remember to, since for some reason you can attack during that cutscene, as long as you have the numpad piece there, and then I'll just immediately collect my reward. So if you're wondering how I'm in a different position in the raft, I, the input is down and right. It's one of those things where it doesn't make sense, because I hit down and right and end up in the bottom left sometimes. ESO works in magical ways. I learned not to question it. Well, but this is off. Nice. Give them the assist. This up real quick. We're hoping we get a skin here, I believe. Those wondering what we're hunting for. Part of item. Huh. We're pretty fast with the clear here, so I don't even see the Sinnoh- oh, I was gonna say, I didn't even see the Sinnoh red up. So we're a few seconds faster than before on that clear. All I have to do is not die. I'll take two safety die mates so I don't die. I'm gonna pause trick here so I don't target. Maybe I'll get a cheesy kill with Confuse there. Could happen. They've reset, so I'm gonna do the classic Sino blue kill. There you go. I've walked to the outside. I walk to the outside again. They're all dead, basically. I don't have to do anything else in that room. If they, if they drop a drop, they do. Otherwise, I'm here. I'm assisting. Perfect. much as good as you get. I'm gonna let Chris mostly stun lock. I'm gonna try to win blaze to slow it down. Otherwise, I'm gonna try not to interfere. Because I think he'll get a cleaner kill than I will on it. But I will slow it down here a little bit to make it easier. And then we will just keep an eye out for the red stuff. I like that I'm hitting it and it's just not visible at all. That's hilarious. Almost done here. Got a couple lingering fireballs to make it easier to time. Because my damage is actually pretty good with the fireball. I got 1301 ATP. Oh, it's not bad. I could have discoed the monitor if I wanted to use Dark Blow here. That's like that, that's what I do in single player. Multiplayer mm, depends on the mood. Usually I just get blued. Surprisingly, I didn't this time. Hmm. We need a resonde in this room. There we go. 
Okay, so same strat as before. We're gonna rely on the force to basically clear the claws. If I can get a good freeze trap, it'd be good against the claws, but I'll make sure they're still targetable. Otherwise, we'll let everybody else continue onwards. Okay, this time I better get the thing I'm looking for. That almost killed me last time. That time I got what I wanted. He's trapped down there. Not only did my shot miss, but then one of them hit the trap, and that also didn't hit the trap. I feel like I got trolled there. <laughs> to be honest, I'll be real honest with you, chat. I feel like I got cheated just a little teeny bit. Alright, so I'm just gonna clear my way to the door. That way I'm first in to deal with the other enemy. Let the force clean up with the zaps. I have no interest in that room as a hunter. Ranger hate is real. Hey, where's my free strap? Hello? I guess I was too far or something. A little shy of the kill. Unfortunate. Oh well, no spread needle. But hey. We're here in under 10 minutes despite tripling the kills. <laughs> That's normal. Just PSO things. <laughs> this music playing as we're on a happy little journey to falls. Perfect boss music, exactly. Actually, I should have been draining my HP. Oh, I got rested. No. I gotta drain my HP. It's so risky to attack with the gear assault. We're going for it. Uh, enough for now. I heal too much. I need to uh, drain one more time. I do need to do now. How did I not get hit there? There are so many chasing me. Please get off of me. Not, did not kill as many as I would have liked, but I definitely don't want to go out of my way. First rebuff, Tiggy. Rip Tiggy. Oh, a game lag there. What was that? Game is loading in. Falls like, hold on. Buffering, buffering. Excellent stuff. Uh, buff and debuffs. Thank you. Now... <laughs> now every ATP is gonna try desperately to get a free hit on this boss. I got some hits. I'm gonna try made him walk over here. Walk back towards the middle. Ooh. Not to spinner. I would say that if you recognize... Again, this is like per character. I can't say what your gear is. But if you find yourself dying to spinner, but not the spells... Honestly, I would say just try to spam Gafoli. I think that's been my new strat. I'm gonna teach people that. It works as you get close... Like, you're about the right amount of health. 1366 should probably survive. Blight Divine offers a surprisingly high amount of resist. Nice job on the balls. Because I've learned that the spinners basically do as much as the spells, but if the spells don't one-shot you, then you're like, wait a minute, I'm free now. I no longer need to play the game. <laughs> Just spam Gafoe. Sometimes damage the boss and then rest the spam in between. So unfair. We'll do one more TTF. Look at that, Chad. We almost tied my single player time. <laughs> With four kills. No worries, it's fine. 
I was gonna say. If you don't accidentally heal Tiggy, I'll walk up and start atomizing her own. <laughs> it's the group pact. <laughs> Poor Tiggy. <laughs> How dare you? I remember doing that on stream once. <laughs> just I just walked up and star atomized him. <laughs> no one suspects the Yuka Seal is the healer. Mm-hmm. I'll drop escape doll in case somebody wants it. So I'm just gonna get another one anyway. Oh hey, I made a profit of 74, chat. I did it. <laughs> I am the winner. Arguably, I don't technically need Dimates. In the run, I just need Trimates. But I'd like to not just lose all my money. A good feeling to not lose my money. that I have two Excals in the bank, because I always forget to put one away, so I'm like, I always have a backup now. It's a good feeling. Am I ready to go on an adventure? Maybe. I don't think the enemy is, though. I don't think they're gonna, like, 328 accuracy, you can seal. Like, move over, Ramar. I look forward to fixing her stats a little more, so in, like, five levels... I'll just be doing, like, full-time Swordsman lore. So right now her stats are a little whack. But it'll even out in time. Yeah, like, once I get, like, a full... A full unit for free, it should be good. because they always have PDs for no reason. And somebody awkwardly walks back. Goodbye, Bartles. Aw, oh, no Disca there. We tried. We're about on time. Minute into the dragon is fine. Given how many extra kills we get, I'm okay with it. Tiki. He got rest of mag. I don't think it was me. I didn't I didn't have the rest of mag. Oh, it's Chris, because he's got the striker unit. Damn. Tiki getting trolled. I was like, wait a minute. At least for worm boss, if possible. And mind boss. Am I going to be off by a fraction again, chat? One day, I'm going to be so excited when I finally stand in the right spot. There's been like twice now I've been denied. Oh, wrong pattern. Wrong spot on the floor. I saw a big grouping of dark on the floor. That was the wrong dark spot. So sad. Come on, slime, come to me. Okay, come on. Poor Lily. They die so fast. Here. Do a courtesy. 
courtesy for you. Go to the next room. That gets a little bit of a head start on those people for free. Slime dupe time. Come on. Give one more cookie for the road. You could do it, slimes. It could be nice. I mean, we turned four enemies into 16. That's always nice. That's just a lot of extra XP for people looking to level. I guess, arguably, I'm slowing the run down a little bit by not immediately. the other thing. Oh well. There's my invincibility. Perfect. Excalibur time. I'm gonna finally make a profit as a hunter in the quest. I don't I don't need Jaya. This should be good enough. So Rafoe, we're actually Gafoe into hold down right. I'm gonna hold down right. Let's see where I end up. Pretty close. Like between the exit and the uh, item itself. So it's a little better than being at the far end of the boat. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna clean him up now. If I could get at least two targets with Disca, I'll consider that a success, given that they don't need the start position. Please trap down. Ooh, that is a beautiful lineup of enemies that just got hit. And I think we did that actually pretty fast. Yeah. They're just spawning Sinnoh Red, and we're already in the other room. We're really not that far behind them now. Maybe six or seven seconds total. Well, we're like nine, I guess. And again, I might as well just do drive-by confused traps on the off chance to kill something, but it's not very likely. Ah. Uh, see, the team is trying to escape. We'll do the alternate method of clearing the room, which is blowing the ball away with a gun. You know, as you do. You're in the doorway. I prefer you weren't there. Since I was forced to stay here, I'm just gonna do this draft to get extra kills. Oh, there we go. And we're good. Dicked. Clean up the ones near the door. Team will clear out some of these. Like just a few seconds of up left. It should be just long enough to clear. Perfect. Optimal. Regen a little HP just in case. See, I'll just try to slow it down. We'll hand it over to Chris. He's got spread needle. And if I feel like I'm gonna die, I'll panic die mate. That is 
Frenzy. That's boss fight. Whenever I see a free trimate, I might as well use it. Ooh, nice. Photon draw. Rewarded. Good resolve. percentage. Uh, one drop for me, but unfortunately it rolled absolutely terrible. Unfortunate. Uh, so I'm gonna kill this guy and start running. Uh, rolled terrible. That's unfortunate. So I'll be able to help Chris here. We'll let the force and Piggy do whatever they want in that room. The important thing is, like, these guys out. Horses hate dealing with them, they just don't do a lot of damage. But, debuffing this route. Eventually. Fire boot. Ooh, that freeze trap was so cool. Love to see it, chat. The oops all frozen. Another photon drop. <laughs> Ooh, that was scary. I thought that was gonna hit me. Damn, no spread needle. Well, we tried. Definitely gear assault time. Oh, Breaker faked you out. Ooh. Is that a monolith? There we go. I'm going down to a happy 15, just for chat. Uh, okay. Don't die. Alright chat, don't die. I'm gonna take some pot shots, so we can't just run forever. We need to actually assist on the. I want to hit that spinner near me, but I know that's a bad idea. Now I can aim at the one that's near me. Kill that one. Start circling here. Oh, that healed me. I was gonna be so sad. me off. I was like, I thought I thought the wave was done, and I'm like, wait a minute. I think maybe we missed one on the other wave. Normally it's you kill two sets and then you kill two, but we killed three. And then we had to kill four. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Hurt my buffs. It's all good though. See where the force is relative to me. I'm just gonna walk over to uh, Draco. I'm not gonna be able to hurt this boss, I don't think. Even with Salor. I mean, I'll try a little, but not exactly high hopes here. Fortunately, the boss is almost dead either way. That works. I think he'll make up for my lack of damage. Power slide. Power slide. 
power slot. Wow, we got almost the same time twice in a row. That's kind of funny, actually. That was... 13.17 was definitely one of our times today on stream. Might have been like one run in between. Uh, caliber drop, but no interesting hit percentage, sadly. There we go. I think that went pretty well. Team could be happy that they got a bazillion kills in TTF and still are sub-14. the Excal on this character for now. I'm gonna get my free escape doll. I think that's all for now, chat. Let's talk about how we think things went. Power well, slide. apparently power slot. But if we did end up getting anything too crazy. Well, we did end up getting an okay amount of cookies throughout the runs. We got uh, nice PDs towards the end, in particular for Chris. So, it, was, it wasn't bad overall. No V101s, no Heaven Strikers, though, which is a little bit of a shame. I think we did pretty good overall. But I think the event ends tomorrow. I probably will not play tomorrow. This will be the last one for the event itself. Unless the event runs over. We've seen that has happened multiple times, so maybe. <laughs> Right, chat? I'll be doing Call of the Lamb, I think, tomorrow. If for whatever reason it runs over, I, st I don't think I'll play Friday either. Need a little bit, a little teeny bit of a break before we get back into it. But anyway, let's pause the extremely long soundtrack for Seventh Dragon. We're only at 22 out of 77 songs. We got a lot more to go. But anyway. That'll be it for now. So thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for joining. And I guess we'll go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.